welcome to the stream everyone hope you're having a nice night and thank you for coming by happy saturday chat today is a beautiful day i'm so excited and do you guys know why because it's a very special day for me no it's not my birthday before anyone asks that's november it's a very special day everyone clap everyone clap come on clap do your job come on do something hype me up it's a very special day cue claps yay chad today is a special day because finally i'm gonna be meeting my best mmorpg friend ever i've been hanging out with them online for years playing different mmos of all sorts of varying sizes and love and 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 and, and coolness they're finally coming over to the mansion i'm so excited i'm so fucking excited we've been i mean there's like so many mmos that we've been into together and like playing rpgs and like i don't know we've been we've been gilding we've been having a good time for a long time and i'm really excited to meet them i'm so impressed basically when, when i asked like what do you look like uh he said i look like a seven foot tall like muscular man so i'm like really excited to like bring him in and hang out with them maybe arm wrestle i don't know do you know just 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 manly things together just boyish things hanging out being men being really cool fucking strong men getting to hang out maybe flex our muscles together you know do like a little a little arm wrestle talk about manly things like like girls we like and and how oiled we like to get before doing a nice workout it's gonna be a great time i'm really excited dude i i'm just i'm just I, you know that feeling that you get when you finally meet somebody for the first time but like you've known them for so long online and you're like oh my god i'm meeting an online friend oh my god i'm nervous i'm excited that's what i feel like right now but it's gonna be a good time you know uh i got the i got the gallon of oil and i got like our, i got like our rpg games i got a crt tv we're gonna hang out we're gonna sit in front of the crt i got fucking very masculine snacks i got some fucking cheetos you know to get our, our fingers all crusty it's gonna be a good time man i'm just really excited i'm really excited no girls allowed only men it's gonna be a chill day anyways but, but besides that before we get into that welcome to the stream everyone hope you're having a nice night thank you for coming by happy saturday big love to you and thank you for coming by don't be shy feel free to say hi the giga chat it should be arriving soon um he said he'll be here in like a minute or two and then once he gets here i guess you guys get to sit back and relax while two two fucking muscular men get to hang out and talk about you know alpha male sigma things and it's gonna be a good time i'm really excited man i'm just really happy that i finally get to bring them on i've known him for so long and it's just gonna be like really dope to finally get to meet him what do you mean cheetos aren't manly what the fuck you got to eat a bowl of nails without any milk we're not masochists we're alpha males we're gonna talk about cool things you know cool manly things like like how much we don't like women but also how much we like women at the same time it's gonna be great man the third most manly thing we could talk about is like final fantasy 14 heaven's ward dlc it's gonna be good it's gonna be great i'm gonna have a good time with it is there gonna be cans of energy drinks everywhere you bet your ass there's gonna be cans of energy drinks everywhere it's gonna be good time we got energy drinks we got food we got oil for when we do our, our lubed up arm wrestles uh we got misogyny that's gonna come into play at some point i'm just really excited and i'm really i'm gonna have a good time i also chat i got them a present i got them fire emblem awakening on nintendo ds as a present for like our first meeting it's gonna be a good time they're gonna be so surprised but yeah uh just look out the window if one of you can just stare around looking for a seven foot tall man with like big rippling muscles once they come by let them into the house and then we can get started just like be on the lookout if you see a seven foot tall man with rippling muscles okay they have you know surprisingly for a seven foot tall man they have a very soft voice but oh well 
I'm not one to judge somebody's appearance based on their voice, you know? Like, I have this voice and I look like this, so I feel like that's a little rude if I were to judge them based on their voice, but hey. Oh, well. Seven foot tall, that's right. Seven foot tall, uh, maybe like built like a, a brick shit house. I don't know, something like that. Look for them. They're arriving. Fuck yeah! All right, as always with collabs chat, I won't be able to talk to you guys that much, but I still will pay attention to you because I'm the only one streaming today. Uh, subs, raids, notifications of all kinds, I might miss, so please don't feel bad. I still love you for it. Thank you for coming by. Big love, and let's get the show on the road. Come on, everybody, to the mansion. Okay. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I think I can hear them at the door. Hold on, I hear them knocking. Hello? Hello? Are you, I can, hello? I hear the knocking at the door. Ahem. What the fuck? Is, is this the, is this the manly man Mina? <laughs> Is this the manliest man meetup where we do nothing but eat raw meat? Yeah, who are you? You're not who I was expecting. What? It's is me. It's it's Grey Wolf Sh Shadow Claw. No way! You're not Grey Wolf Shadow Claw. I mean, the voice is strikingly similar, but like, Grey Wolf told me they were a seven foot tall, like m muscular man. What the fuck? Y yeah, look at me. I got fucking catfished! What? No! What the fuck? Where's the- Clearly! Yeah, where's the muscles? Where's the- No, 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 no. It's all under the coat! It's you all under the coat! You are 5'9 at best! No, 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 no. Don't try to act like it's a sleeper build. The only thing no. I'm sleeping on is that the fact that your height is not even the same as 7 foot. No, 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 no. Look, see, it's- it's all- it's all underneath the coat. I see like a moo moo. That's like no. sleeping wear. Those are pajamas. No, 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 no. You, you gotta get your eyes checked. What do you mean? My eyes are made out of porcelain, and from what I see, I'm not. I'm. You're missing like three feet of height. Did you? Lie I don't know to what me? you're talking about. Did no, you catfish me? I, no, 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 no. The gray wolf that I know would never catfish me. I'm here to- I'm here to drink raw eggs. We promised to drink raw eggs together and arm wrestle while oiled up. I can't do that now. You're a woman. What the fuck? My dreams. <laughs> My RPG manly best friend. No. Ah. <laughs> Despair. <laughs> Despair! <laughs> Was this role always, play? Oh, it's always chat. Always be careful. You never know who you're talking to online. Oh, don't turn there, this into a it PSA. Might, <laughs> <laughs> it might be a woman. Watch out. Be careful, chat. You never know when a woman will strike. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. When you're playing online MMOs, you never know when women will be there. You have to be careful. <laughs> Protect your chastity. Make sure there's no women nearby. That's our worst fear as men. <laughs> Always be on the lookout. Only ever trust other men. <laughs> if someone says they're a seven foot tall male, they're probably a woman in disguise. Make sure to no. tell, your, tell your parents. <laughs> and avoid at all costs. <laughs> not so true. Fine. Not true. <laughs> I'm so glad we did this as the opening bit instead of a fucking adopting a dog thing again. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so much better. Oh. Uh, Nanny Nanny, welcome. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Porcelain Parlor where we Thank hang you for out having me. and learn about each other and chill. And it's nice and fun. Awesome. Yeah. I've known you for like three years now. And this is like mm -hmm. our first time actually getting into a call together. I'm so excited. Yeah. Isn't that just like the 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 epitome of I don't know Twitter friends, stream friends? You feel like you know someone for years, and then you just when I you like sit down think and think I'm about just it, so incredibly comfortable that everyone feels like they know me for years. 
It's true. I think you are, genuinely. I, like, uh, thank you. <laughs> Do you want to introduce yourself or in, like, the simplest way possible? In the simplest way possible. I mean, you could try overcomplicated, but I was just trying to fill up the words um, that I was saying. In the simplest way possible, yeah, I... Yeah, do it, do it as a caveman. Roleplay as a caveman when you say oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. Me? No, wait. Huh? <laughs> no. Not... <laughs> All right, don't, huh? don't hurt your brain. Don't hurt your brain. <laughs> this is Nerina. She's a wolf girl. True. And she likes RPGs and MMOs and cool things. Cool things. And fictional women. Oh, absolutely. All fictional women. Very specific. I feel like I could guess your type very easily. I don't know if that's what? like an insult, but I feel like I could guess the type of fictional women you like. Okay, try. 2B. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's not fair. Who's okay? Who doesn't love 2B? <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love to be? That's not fair. <laughs> That's not a fair one. Okay, That's not okay. fair. The lesbians from Signalis. Okay, yeah. You know what? The gay stuff was the best part of Signalis. All the women from the the Near and Drakengard franchise. Yeah. See, see. Okay, yeah. right, I'll try to do, let me try to do some obscure shit. Okay, okay, okay. Fire Emblem. Okay, but who from Fire Emblem? Mm, I, oh god, there's so many characters. You probably played some of the older Fire Emblem games and not the newer ones. Oh. I have played some newer ones, but also some older ones. I only ones. know the newer ones! I, I did, well, I played ones. three, I played three houses and I played Awakening also, so. Okay, um, um, Byleth. Um, Damn I actually it. prefer I guess I prefer male Byleth Fuck. over female Byleth. What? But okay, it's like okay, specifically okay, hold on, hold on. because of the outfit. The the green haired swordsman from the olden games, the the swordswoman. Hmm? Ooh ooh, she had green ooh. hair and it was like a ponytail. You Are you talking what? about Lynn? Yes, Lynn. Yeah. Okay, I do love Lynn. Aha! You got me there. You got me there. Let's go. I just I'm you got punching me there. my chair. Let's fucking go. You got, <laughs> you Let's got go. me there. I got it. I got. Listen, uh. I know my first one. Okay. Any more than this, and it's gonna make me look. I'm gonna get worse and worse. <laughs> I got the first one immediately. I got the first guess immediately. That's the important thing. That was immediate. That was done. Yeah, I already had it. I should have stopped there before I got embarrassed myself. <laughs> As soon as we went to Fire Emblem, I just made a mistake. I, mean, I think that the thing is asking, okay. Asking if someone likes to be or not, is like asking if someone likes pancakes or not. What? No, no. Yeah, some, it is. Some people, She's hot. Some people don't like to be. I think they're liars. There, there are people out there <laughs> that probably don't, aren't attracted. I'm not attracted to Bayonetta, but a lot of people are. That's fair. The thing about Bayonetta is that she has like really funky proportions on like purpose. They're so exaggerated that I a lot of people don't like her outfit and her. Oh, like, that's hair. that's fair too. That's Which fair is also. Her outfit. Honestly, it's the yeah. same thing. So maybe that's why I don't like it. Maybe. But then to be, I get it. I get it. To be just looks really good. The okay. Yeah. Well, what would you say is your peak fictional woman that you like then? Oh, peak. Yeah. What's number one? Oh. Um, um, it's from an RPG. I would say, okay, I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to out me. I'm just guessing. I was <laughs> tempted to put in the, the, the notification RPG wolf instead of just wolf, <laughs> but I thought it was too long. So I just went with that. <laughs> I could, I'm going to rebrand next week. Um, I would probably say, I don't know if it's boring. I would say Ash from like Final Fantasy 12. She's peak woman. Ash? Let me yeah. look this up. The only Final Fantasy I know is 13 because I played that as a child. Okay, but I love Fang, so 13 works too. Which one was Fang? I'm talking about the Fang, one with lightning in it. She's she's Fang Fang has a she's in 13. She has like a mullet. 
She's very Australian in the English dub. I'll be real with you. I watched my my older sibling play it, and I stood in the background like a half oh. attention. <laughs> I like the guy with the afro. I thought he was cute. And oh, I, Saz, yeah. I had a crush on the 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 other woman that wasn't lightning, but also was younger. The one that was like accompanying lightning, but was younger than lightning. She danced. She looks kind of like Ty Lee, but like not like Ty Lee at all, but has the same personality as Ty Lee from Avatar. Oh, I the didn't watch healer, Avatar. Sarah. What do you mean you haven't? What? It's like down your alley. Okay, we'll talk about this in a second. I'm looking at Ash right now. <laughs> That felt like I was getting a scolding from my dad. We'll talk about this in a second. I get that a lot more than you think. <laughs> okay, okay. I see I see it with Ash. I see it. I can tell. I can get it. I can get it. She's I, it's more her character, really. I will She's say She's just a really good character. Her outfit is really silly. Her outfit that's because Final Fantasy XII has <laughs> I'm I'm not defending the fashion. It's it's god awful. Wait. The Wait, fashion in 12, I cannot defend. She's two pairs of pants. Yeah, she sure is. What in is case she this? loses the first pair. Wait, wait, look at this. She's wearing jeans that was turned into a corset. <laughs> yep. What is this? So slay. What is this? <laughs> this, this, this is PlayStation. This is peak PlayStation 2. Wait, okay. Let me, let's take a... Let's really look, d devour this right now, okay? She's wearing jeans as a corset that were cut mm -hmm. yep then she's wearing what looks to be cardboard <laughs> just skirt mini skirt with like the most plastic belt i've ever seen in my life <laughs> and then she's wearing like like not even a fucking she looks like she's wearing lingerie as a top <laughs> and then she has like a hood around her collar it's it's oh it's atrocious oh my god how do you even put this on what do you put on um, first the worst thing about her i think is her boots which i mean the boots aren't even in the oh picture and i think they're the worst thing what do her boots look like all wait in every single picture of her, her boots are cut off oh, yeah, for good I reason it. i found it <laughs> for good reason they're all terrible wait oh my god she's wearing like the disney 11s what am i looking at <laughs> What am I They're looking terrible. at here? They're terrible. They're like weird sandal mixtures. Yeah. What the fuck? Why do they have toe room? <laughs> there's like a shoe and then there's toe space above the shoe. <laughs> what the fuck? How over designed do you want your shoes? Yes, please. This reminds me of all the new gotcha games designs where they're just like the oh, clothing. Oh, 100%. Make any... All the clothing looks AI generated. I'm going to be real. Yeah. Too. I yep. look at Genshin Impact design sometimes and it just looks like an AI <laughs> tried to figure out what clothing is. Yeah. I feel like nowadays people that design characters for RPGs or gacha games, they are just like, the more the better. The more complicated yeah. and the less like clothing it looks like, the better. There's such a like formula to it now too, because I feel like every every other character, they everyone looks so strange, but still somehow they all look the same. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to I want to talk to you. I want to talk about you for a little bit before we get into yelling about f fantasy games. So I'm going to oh, sit yeah. down because I can't stand my chat. Mm -hmm. That was a pun. You can laugh. <laughs> Feel free to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Laugh a little bit more convincingly, please. <laughs> You're going to make it seem like I have a gun under the table. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What the fuck? You know that there's a, do, you, do you know that TikTok of um wait no you don't know TikTok. It, do you, there there's a video. You don't There is a you just, video. I mean you're not wrong, but you're assuming I'm 84 years old. You're not wrong. There but. is a video of a man and his girlfriend and the girlfriend's just like he's awkwardly holding her uh shoulder and it looks like she's just like taller than him and he's sitting down. And like, it looks like she's being held hostage for the entire video. That's what this is right now. What are, what are the kids doing on TikTok? Well, I don't know. The guy was just really awkward. And then no. like everyone took that video and then they edited it because she was cut off mm -hmm. on the side. So they would like add their arms and a gun like holding next to her. So they would, it would just look <laughs> weirder and weirder. That's what this stream is.
I'm actually forcing <laughs> Netty Nay to, to hang out with me so we can talk about stuff. This is our first hangout true. for a reason. This is it. This is why. <laughs> also, teaching you about how VNet works was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> she is not up to date with the technology. Every time I show her something, she's like, this is the future. <laughs> I just, I just don't know things, all right? Normalize not knowing shit. It was so Normalize funny. being stupid. I show you this and you're like, oh, there's no way this works. There's no way two VTuber models can be on the same screen together. That's impossible. There's no way. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't know. It's so funny. But um, I met <laughs> Nedine, I think, three years ago on a Domo Ariga Thanks interview show. And it was really cool because I was like, I, I, I was newer. I didn't know a lot of VTubers. So getting to see you and then see your interview was really fun, which is kind of like what I'm copying right now. I'm basically doing another interview with you, but more chill. <laughs> and uh, like ever since then, I kind of just was always in your chat a lot of the times i always came mm -hmm. in just to watch you because you have a really comfy vibe and i guess chat you guys can also Aww. get it just from hearing her speak you have a very soft voice and like your model <laughs> fits you very well so it's just very lovely to sit in there and just watch you play video games and relax oh thank you it's very nice it's very lovely because like one of the things is you always play uh a lot more chill games you play stuff like rpg games you play mmos mm -hmm. occasionally you uh sometimes will play horror games if they have good aesthetic you and you recently started playing ender lilies too which made me really happy yeah and it's just a very comfy vibe i mean look at you look at you <laughs> look at you <laughs> it's actually perfect but ever since then, I've always wanted to actually get to, like, hang out with you. So having this be the first time to hang out after three years is fucking insane. It's true. It is It is pretty crazy. Oh, I my mean, God. I feel like, I mean, you have always popped up every now and then in my chat. I mean, it's like when time I'm zones. in the morning. Yeah, that's the thing. Time zones is what makes it hard. But, I mean, I feel like whenever you do show up in my chat, I get very happy. And I'm very happy when I get to wish you a good morning and a good day. It's so nice. It's so, everyone Yay. in your chat is so sweet, too. It's just really nice to come up there <laughs> and just be like, hi, everyone. And then everyone's like, hi. And then I just sit there and I lurk and I watch while I <laughs> eat my breakfast. <laughs> Fo a spoonful of all bran flakes just eating silently like a grandpa. <laughs> like it's the like morning news. That's how I that's how I want people to interact with my stream well like a saturday morning cartoon they yeah. just sit there and they kind of just watch while eating cereal yeah because i'm just kind of doing my thing so i would i would like it if my viewers also were just doing their thing well you really are doing your own thing because we were talking about this before and i i've been uh, advertising this to my chat as one of the only streamers that i know that purely does streaming as a hobby like vtubing as a hobby which i think is really cool because i don't know if anyone else has ever asked you this before like on your reasoning why because a lot of the time some people will be like oh i like streaming but they always try to go for the career and uh aspect mm. of it so it, it makes me feel like you have yourself very well put together for you to understand and enjoy this purely as a hobby and not wanting anything else i feel like it's it's always been a it's been a gateway for me to get to talk to other people about like video games, which is like what I want to do. I want to share video game experiences with people. And that's like getting to discuss games with people has always just been what I want to do and what You're I want to like achieve with streaming. <laughs> yeah, literally, 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 because I'm bad. I'm so bad at talking or like communicating in general. But I'm like, if I put on, if I turn on a stream and people watch me, I'm like, well, now you guys are here. We might as well talk. You, I already <laughs> like, know that you, know? you guys like me and the game yeah. that I'm playing. So you might, you're basically trapped you, here to talk about this with you me. You might as well talk. You're here. <laughs> you're chatting. You might as well talk to me. Like, you know. That's so cool though. I mean, I, I kind of got into stream streaming the same way where I just wanted to like mm -hmm. hang out and talk to people but uh, yeah. to like know that what you want and just to only go for that is really I don't know it's really like respectable it makes me feel like you have your life together whenever I when I see stuff like this it's like oh my god they're so mature they they they're doing it just to hang out with people and, and to, to talk about video games they like and to talk about two bees like <laughs> physics this is crazy how many polygons does she have let's talk <laughs> 
Let's discuss. <laughs> I think if anything, I don't know. It, in a sense, it's like the opposite. I'm just not. I'm not made for the grind. I'm not cut out for the grind. So like, I admire the opposite side. I admire the people that can turn it into a grind because I'm just not built for that. I think yeah, it's like it is respectable to mm -hmm. grind and everything like that. Sure, but like I feel like it's this is just us glazing each other. But they, I feel like it's even <laughs> more like responsible and mature to know when to know your limits and to know like I don't want to do this kind of thing. I'm happy mm. with how this is. I think that's yeah. more respectable and cool. Ah. Uh. Don't yappers me, chat. I'm having a philosophical <laughs> debate. <laughs> we were having a conversation. Oh my god. Sometimes <laughs> hold on. I need to get their attention. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This way. Jingle no, the keys. <laughs> yeah, don't get distracted. This way, this way. Look oh, this way, chat. Oh. Oh, I know, I know. It's a. <laughs> I like how you said you were kind of uh, nervous before this happened. And I was like, no, look at my chat. How could you get nervous with these <laughs> these these motherfuckers? No, I don't think my chat could beat anyone in a fight, let alone even get intimidate anyone. <laughs> You're all grown adults, by the way. Half of you are older than me. No, 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 no. They're so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> oh my god. They're so cute. Don't, don't, don't be nice to them. Don't be, they, they get enough of that. They don't need more of that. They don't need more, they don't need to get spoiled more. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I kind of flashbang me thinking about them again. But yeah, no, I, I've always been impressed by that. Cause again, I don't know a lot of people that have, you know, the boundaries and the, the, like the thought process to be like, okay, this is what I like. This is mm -hmm. nice. And I think it's cute. It's nice. It, it's seeing you play different games. Because I find a lot of cool games from you. I found um, well, Endo Parasitic, which is the game that I don't think oh. that you like very much. But like, Well, it, conceptually, it was really cool. But that shit, it, it gave me carpal tunnel for real. I, <laughs> I was dying. I think I found that. I think I found Signalis from you. I found a couple mm -hmm. of different games where I'm just like, wow, Nedina, this is cool. Where the fuck do you find? Where did you find this? I, you find all I, this just, shit? Do I, I just love obscure weird stuff no i get it sometimes i'll go on steam and i'll click on uh i'll click on boomer shooter and i'll just like look through shit <laughs> it's fun it's fun i like getting my fun, recommendation yeah. pages yeah which is always kind of crazy to think about because it's like oh my god this just randomly popped up and now i'm going to spend like 14 hours of my life playing this <laughs> this is going to be the r r entirety of my life this for like the is next my three personality weeks. for the yeah. next three weeks i will not talk about anything besides ender lilies for the next three weeks this is my number one and i think did you ever have a game like that because i know you play final fantasy for a long time i mean honestly Genuinely, the Final Fantasy franchise has been my personality since I was like 13. <laughs> One hundred, a hundred percent. This is who I am. I like Final Fantasy. Yep. I think Tifa yep. is cool, and I think Aerith, Aerith, Aer I that woman, the one with the flowers, is really cool <laughs> the, too. The woman. <laughs> the, wo the, wo <laughs> the woman. The woman. Yeah. Oh my god, I never thought about that because the only Final Fantasy games I've ever, I, I've no, I've never played a Final Fantasy game. Mm -hmm. I. I I watched Final Fantasy 13 then I like played an hour of the the driving one and then the driving one oh the, 15 yeah yeah the road trip yeah 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 and then there was one called like Final Fantasy 0 something type 0 yeah type 0 and I played that mm -hmm. for a little bit and this is all when I was like 13 trying to make YouTube videos so I don't remember <laughs> any of them <laughs> you were doing the whole let's play thing i was i was yeah <laughs> i literally was i look back on some of my youtube videos back when i started off because i did it like from a really young age which i do mm -hmm. not recommend to anybody always start <laughs> late never start early honestly yeah and while looking through it it's just me walking around being like whoa <laughs> whoa the overreaction wow, like of crazy. let's plays yeah trying to make a reaction out of every tiny thing you see and like dragging it out to a full 10 <laughs> minute conversation i've said this so many times i can tell when somebody is newer to content creation is if they're mm -hmm. playing a game and instead of talking to chat they're just like whoa whoa let me yep. get out of here that's crazy no don't do that yeah and that's the because i used to do the same thing all the time when i started out i would play halo and i'd like make noises and be like whoa yeah. hello there friend and it's the most like 
baby monitor-esque video I've ever seen in my <laughs> life where it's just constant stimulation, but not in like a funny or creative way. It's just baby sensory videos, yeah. But I always respect, like I want, I, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to get better at being able to just like talk normally and be silent on mm -hmm. stream. Cause I'm a very high energy person when I stream, right? I'm mm -hmm. very loud. Um, yeah. I've been doing my best to switch off of that and transform my content into like doing either or. So like uh, talking mm. normally, talking in a more chill, relaxed vibe and not needing to fill up empty space every five seconds. I've done tests, mm. right? Right? Like if we do 10 seconds, no talking right now. Okay. And it worked. Chat survived most of that. They didn't freak out or anything. I've been slowly training them. Don't tell them. <laughs> I'm slowly getting them adapted to the idea of me not having to talk every five seconds. <laughs> I think the longer slowly I do it, it's literally reverse TikTok brainwashing. I'm trying to get them to have more of an intent, uh, more of an attention span. Every so often in a stream, I'm just gonna stop talking for like 10 seconds and hope that they don't leave. And that way, like, I can slowly, <laughs> I can slowly fix them from what TikTok has brainwashed everyone into. In like five years, we'll be, we'll be fully comfortable with That's... around 15 seconds. <laughs> in five years, the brainwashing will finally take hold <laughs> and they'll be able to sit in silence without feeling awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I think you do a pretty good job of that where like I can just in, again I'm just I'm I'm glazing you again but I can just sit in your chat and watch <laughs> you play a game for a little bit and not feel awkward about it at all. Um I just forget to talk sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I'm focused. This is something I do a lot. But if I'm if I'm focused in a boss fight, I I don't I do not care that I'm streaming. I lock in. I'm just quiet for like a full 5 minutes fighting a boss sometimes. <laughs> fully and then your model just kind of like stares at the screen yeah you're so yeah you're like, the entire fully. time it's so funny yeah. it's so good yeah i just i also <laughs> love how like fitting uh your aesthetic is to you because you i've oh? said this a million times are a soft person or a soft-spoken person and your model <laughs> made by omochi is like incredibly incredibly fucking soft look at you <laughs> look at you <laughs> such a little guy I just realized we also have the same hair. Yeah, we do. Just mine's like a little bit longer. We're, we're silver hair besties. Thank you for calling it silver. I'm tired of people calling my hair pink. It's, I mean, it's got like a sort of pinkish hue. tone to it. It's yeah, hue, yeah, yeah, for but sure. It is not pink, it is no. silver slash white. Yes, I think so. My artist is just colorblind. And I'm not even saying that's a joke. He's literally colorblind and couldn't see. That's that makes them the strongest person on the planet. It really does because it makes the art really cooler. That's why all my colors look a little weird. You're so tall. Ugh. I know. I've noticed this all the time because people will say, "Oh, my model is like seven foot tall," and then it like we zoom out and then we look at the actual model's height and how the proportions look out, and it just makes me look taller than everyone. <laughs> It's really crazy. You could say you're actually seven foot tall right now and it would technically make sense. Like, I would believe you. It's just my proportions look bigger than everyone else. I told you I wasn't lying. I don't know. You still don't look seven <laughs> foot to me. You're also no, not no, a no, man, no, no, no. so. Um. Are you? Well, you that's, never know. That's terrifying to me. You never know. That's terrifying. I'll never be able to figure it out. The way everyone's in <laughs> hi. <laughs> I, love how into the I love how into the fucking VTube studio thing that you are. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like such new technology to you that you're actually enjoying it so much. So interesting. I know, because you get to move around at the same time as everyone else. Yeah. The fact that it just works in real time is what's blowing my mind. Yeah, the fact that you're able to like move and match my size too. Yeah. Look at you. Go ahead. Get it all out of your system. Play around with it. I know you want to. <laughs> yeah, get it out of your system. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the technology. Enjoy peak it's, technology. It's 
we are true like it's it's weird that this is the thing that makes me think like oh we are in the future like we have <laughs> more we have more advanced technology than this but this is what's blowing my mind two vtuber models on the same screen is the most mind-blowing thing that you've seen <laughs> like okay. ah, truly you know when you bring so like when you're a kid and your mom brings you to mcdonald's but they still had the old like play pens that's mm -hmm. what this is you're in a playpen. <laughs> You've been brought to McDonald's and your mom left you in the playpen while she gets your food. <laughs> I want to go in the slide. I want to go in the ball pit. <laughs> Which I never did, by the way, because as a kid, I knew that shit was disgusting. Oh, I didn't have that much brain power as a kid. I just went in there. I wanted to. I wanted to. I really did. But I had to mm -hmm. hold myself back because of germophobia, which I don't actually uh... have. But still, I knew well... what I was doing. <laughs> That being said, I was a really stupid kid. I remember I did a lot really? of things. Well, yeah, because I, I was doing things to impress people all the time. Oh. I remember I um one time we were me and a couple of neighborhood kids were just hanging out, mm -hmm. and I just ate a jalapeno pepper in front of them, and I was just like, "This is cool. Watch this," and I ate the whole thing. And I go back home to my mother immediately. Like I'm like water. I need water, mom, <laughs> mother. I need water. And then it makes it worse because you're just spreading the capsaicin yeah. around. And my mom looks at me like I'm the biggest idiot in the world for eating a pepper. And I'm like, put it, 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 it. And I never did that ever again. The other kids were watching. I had to. I want them to know that I'm cool. Yeah. And now instead That's of doing that, kid thing. I, uh, I, I eat hot sauce on stream instead. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Nothing At has least you're changed. consistent. I'm, I'm more <laughs> consistent than anything now because I'm drinking the hot sauce. <laughs> to be fair, I think uh, I think like a raw jalapeno is worse than hot sauce. Hot sauce I has flavor know. to it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that's you don't fair. have spice tolerance. Nope. I can tell. I got the... that. <laughs> I, I got the Northern European bill. I look at a jalapeno pepper and I die. I know. I was like, wow, I forgot that you have like more porcelain skin than I. I love that when I mm -hmm. move over to you, but you're just immediately like. I I noticed that yeah, you have more porcelain skin than me, so there's no way that you have spice tolerance. Now I'm looking at mm -mm. it. Mm -mm. It's okay. I listen. It's not some. Sometimes they make stuff that's like good for everybody, like Cholulas. That's all vinegar. <laughs> okay, well, you don't need to cry about it. Damn. <laughs> we can get you other huh? hot sauces. There's like, there, so, okay. There are hot sauces, right? That won't, that don't have any spice to them. There's stuff like Sriracha, Cholula, and but, uh, there's like uh, pineapple hot sauces. Why is it, why is it called a hot sauce if it's not spicy? Because it's like still technically a hot sauce. Like oh, so you're lying. Well, no, it's not that I'm lying. <laughs> it still has peppers in it, but it's like very weak peppers. Oh, I see. Yeah, like it's a warm sauce. It's not it's not gonna hurt you or anything. I I don't believe you. <laughs> Are you gonna I live don't. the rest of your life eating only like non-spiced foods? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yes, actually. No. Yes, actually. <laughs> Stale bread only. You're only going to eat sweet Japanese curry instead of any other type of curry from now on. <laughs> only bread. Oh, oh, yeah. Only stale bread with yep. like maybe a piece of ham in there or something. Yep. Actually, well, I mean, I like barely even eat meat, so I can not even get a piece of ham in what there. What the fuck? Okay. What did you eat today? <laughs> Oh, don't let's not ask questions that we don't oh, really want no. the answer Are you to. The, you're the type of person that doesn't eat for like an entire day and then you're like, oh, I need to eat. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe. No, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I had I had like half of a of one of I had half a protein bar. Okay. And 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 uh so um, I had some chili, but it was it was like it was like only with veggies, so was we didn't have meat in chili? it. Let's not ask questions it that we don't oh want. My God. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's not. So you had half of a can of chili with no protein in it, and then you had half of a protein bar. And a cucumber slice. And oh, not even a whole cucumber. You had a slice of cucumber. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I also had a, I had a banana for breakfast. I had a banana for breakfast. You had one. You had a singular. I I'm having a hard time believing that you took a cucumber out, sliced it once, and then just ate that as like a little snack. No, Are I you did. an ant? <laughs> I do that all the time. Are you like a little creature? Are you a little ant? You just run around and just like take random things to eat. Maybe. The more Maybe I so. learn, the more I worry. Maybe so. <laughs> Chat, can we have a cucumber? So. Uh, please, sir, just a slice. Just a please, singular sir. slice. <laughs> please. Uh, I'm just so hungry. I need... Uh, I need a slice. Yeah, Nerdina is a worm in a little terrarium, just like wiggling around. <laughs> Please don't shake my terrarium around. <laughs> you're, you're worm GF. <laughs> I'm very fragile. Don't like shake me. Like a little me. gummy worm. Mm hmm. No, it's okay. I do this. Some. I used to do the same thing. I'm the opposite. Where if I, if I like don't watch myself, I will eat way too much food. Oh, mm. I grew up with a parent that was like always telling me there are starving children in Africa. Uh, and for the yeah. first time in existence, that worked on a child. And it was me. I was that <laughs> child that it worked on. So I would always <laughs> clean my plate even if I was full. So yeah. I just depended on my mother giving me the right proportions, which she never did. It's it's scary. It can backfire so easily. I know. That's called childhood mm. trauma. Yeah. We all have it. We someone Some worse than others. <laughs> Maybe Nerdin ate worse than others too because she's only eating singular cucumber slices as dinner <laughs> per day. True. Half this one time chili. This one time I spilled my, my McDonald's milkshake in the car and my dad yelled at me so much that I stopped ordering milkshakes. No wait for the rest of your life you just <laughs> never had a milkshake ever again. Well, not I haven't had it since like eating with him at McDonald's. No. <laughs> I'll get him if I'm alone, because then I'm we like, I can those spill as much as I want. In you. You're only eating cucumber <laughs> slices. The more <laughs> calories, the better. <laughs> we need you to have energy throughout the day. <laughs> All right, what time what do I need tired? energy for? What do I need to? Okay. You're asking a lot of questions today. Just should, should we, we? I know. I'm, I'm like, the more I'm learning about you, the more I'm worried about your health. <laughs> that's, what, that's why I'm asking these questions. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the nervous laughter is telling me everything I need to know. Uh, we'll I just I just stay I just stay awake and I play video games and then I don't realize I'm tired. You're a little bit of a gamer. I game yeah, it happens. I can imagine you sitting in front of a CR like a CRT TV just playing old Final Fantasy games on like a PlayStation One. <laughs> just True. like the entire night and there's no food near you. You're the type that no would that like you have like a tiny snack and then that's it. That's your dinner for the entire day. Yeah. I eat I eat like saltines a lot. You know what? That's fine. I do like saltine crackers. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy saltine crackers. I will eat an yeah. entire bag of saltine crackers if left alone. Now hold on. I don't right. like them that much. Well, how much now, are you on. eating? <laughs> a couple? Hold on, how dry is your mouth that you're eating a whole bag of? I have drinks with it. I listen. I wouldn't, don't call my mouth dry. I'm the one who drinks hot sauce. Okay. Oh, yeah, true. True. I have a normal eating schedule. I just overeat sometimes. You are the oh. opposite. <laughs> you are the problem. I am the leech, and you are the one slowly getting deprived of nutrients. <laughs> We'll work on it. We just got to get you to eat more. You know what it is? We'll find <laughs> food that you really like and we'll just constantly like push it over to you silently. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like at the end of a table at a bar and we just are like, here's some flan. There you go. Enjoy that. <laughs> here's a creme brulee. Get some calories in you. <laughs> I will happily eat it. Yippee. Okay. Yippee. I actually do want to ask you this question because I, besides Final Fantasy, because I've been curious for a little bit. Do you have a favorite video game? Oh, um, 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 mm, mm. Killer7, probably. What the fuck is Killer7? You don't know about Killer7? I don't know about a lot of things, homie. Oh. A lot of my, basically, I would say like 95% of my favorite, the games that I would call my favorite video games are this for like the, the PS2. This is your favorite video game? What do you mean? No Why are you showing in it? No, there's one hot woman in it. I'm looking at this and this looks like like Hitman re like what the fuck? 
What is this? This is your favorite. Wait, no, there's no way yeah. this is your favorite video game. What? Wait, it is. I love Killer's Oven. It is an old Suda 51. Do you know about No More Heroes? I do know about No More Heroes and Suda 51. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's an old Suda 51 game for right, the GameCube. Suda 51 now it makes sense because that's like one of those, <laughs> that's like the weird, obscure Japanese games that I think you would like. <laughs> A lot of my favorite, almost the entirety, at least 95% of my, the library that's like my favorite video games is just old PS2 games. Is the hot woman the, the Laura Croft looking girl on the right? Yes. It's personality, isn't it? No. It's... She's, she's very, she's, she's very, very enchanting. But she's so pixelated. Why do they look kind of look like Wolfwood from Trigun? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> One of the guys from the other side looks like Maybe... Wolfwood. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason I like- maybe that's the reason why Wolfwood's my favorite character. It looks like Wolfwood, <laughs> and then the guy next to him looks like a Yakuza character. True! What the fuck? <laughs> You're right. Holy shit. Chad, how do I we love rate- I Killer7. How do we rate, uh... This guy down here? You have to- it's one of those games that, um... You just- you gotta- you gotta- you gotta play it. You gotta play it or you won't get it. You either get it or you don't. Is it like, don't judge a book by its cover because, it, like, the game is very crazy? Um... I mean, it definitely... Ah, <laughs> uh, how do I talk about it without spoiling? It definitely sets the tone, like, within the first, like, five minutes. It definitely sets the tone. Is it, like, super I... spoiler-heavy? I didn't think it was a story, super story-based game. No! Not really, but there's definitely some some stuff in there. I I would like you if if you want to play it sometime. I do want you to see it blind. I'd be down to play it. It looks like it's it really short. It looks kind of interesting. It's really short. Like I'm looking at the gameplay and it kind of looks like a boomer shooter. And we, <laughs> sort of. We love boomer shooters here. Ain't <laughs> that right, Chad? It's like one of the 90, it's like every single pot, like a, a gaming uh, stream that I do is like a boomer shooter. This looks kind of cool. It kind of <laughs> looks like a persona mixed with a boomer shooter. I love the aesthetics of, of Killer7. There's just, they, there's no other game that has like such an interesting visual style that I, that I love as much as Killer7. You know what? I played a game recently that I think might mm -hmm. be kind of in your alley. It might be a little too oh. much actually. Too much? In what sense? Um, fuck. Let me see what the what was the game called. It is really weird, and my chat liked it, but it also I felt like I I felt like I was on a roller coaster and I was getting slapped at the same time. <laughs> what was it called? Uh, Jazz Punk. Jazz ja Punk. Jazz Punk Director's Cut. Like the two genres of music? Yeah, I played it and it felt like I was getting slapped, put on a roller coaster, <laughs> and then flipped upside down. Like, all at the same time. It's I very don't... weird. I have never seen this before. It's a very weird game. And I don't know Ooh. how to describe it. It's like 99% puns and jokes while also doing weird puzzles that don't make sense. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's... Honestly, it's kind of fun. It's very weird. I, I genuinely... I don't know how to describe it. Just like, you can't describe Killer7. That makes me way more interested than, like, if you... If you had an actual good explanation. What? Not being a... You know, I'm just gonna put it out there. Uh, I don't really know how to describe Ender Lilies. <laughs> oh. you know. All right. Ender Magnolia is coming out. The sequel. I'm super excited I'm... for that. Me too. Me too. How'd you? Because how, I. Uh, how'd you feel about it after you beat Ender Lilies? Ender Lilies. I really. Okay. I. Um, I. I basically. I. Um, how do I? How do I say this? I don't have beef with like any. I. I play pretty you much have any. Beef with any. No. 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 no, no. <laughs> I don't have beef oh, yeah, with no, Ender Lilies. No spoilers for the chat, because okay, some people okay, okay. in the chat want to play it. Um, I play pretty much any genre of a video game. I don't have like a, ooh, I don't like this type of game. I'm not going to play it. I don't really have that. If a game looks interesting, I'll play it. But my one thing is just like, I always get lost in, in Metroidvanias. 
I always get lost, it, the and then I don't know where to go. It tells you everything. It literally also tells you if you've gotten everything in that one little area. It but changes I'm stupid. colors. You're I'm not stupid. stupid. You're not stupid. You're, you're just not thinking. <laughs> you're smarter than that. <laughs> it literally changes from orange to blue when you've completed an area, and it, it tells you that where the roots are. Like, it shows you in the map Hey, there's an un there's a you didn't go through this route. There's a it leads to another area. It's like one of the best maps in video games. <laughs> You're right, but also shut up. What the fuck? <laughs> I I I just I don't know. There's something I think it just might be the exploration because I don't really like open world games and I don't like exploring in those either. Honey, so, it's not even the, the maps aren't that big. <laughs> but, but, They're like small but, cut off areas. I have the I, I can't I'm gonna I go back and watch your VODs. I need to see what don't. you were having trouble with. <laughs> I'm gonna send you angry messages as I watch your VODs and be like it was right there! <laughs> Look down! <laughs> to a little There's, guy it I is don't big. Get it. <laughs> To a little fella like me, it's huge. <laughs> it's so like I don't know. There's just something about Metroidvanias. I've tried so many of them. I've never been like if Hollow the thing Knight about made okay me confused. I get that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I dropped Hollow Knight. Oh my god! Wait, I have a TV playing in the background for extra light because I have a shitty room lighting, and mm -hmm. it just tracked a face that was on the TV, and it made me look up. That was really weird. What the fuck? Whoa, Did you see that? You, what was you're that? Haunted. I'm you're haunted. You're haunted. It's doing it again. It did it again. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta turn my TV off. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, keep talking. Keep talking. You're oh my haunted. God. Hi, chat. It is my show now. <laughs> What's up? How are we doing? How are you on this lovely Saturday evening? It's just me, me and you guys. What? He's back. I'm back. Oh, well. That was crazy. Hi, Basil. Oh, Happy belated birthday. I know. <laughs> Nedine's model is gorgeous. It, uh, it's made by... Um, uh, what's their full name? Is it Omochi Chowder? Omochi Chowder, yes. Oh, my God. They... He always streams um, like art progress and making models and stuff. So if you guys, if anyone in chat, if you're interested in like learning, uh, you want inspiration to like learn rigging or just do art and stuff, definitely look at his streams because he does a bunch of art. I would and love stuff. to commission really them neat. at some point. Their art's so mm -hmm. cute. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at you. I don't know why. <laughs> I get a very like intense urge whenever I look at you. And I'm like, oh, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oshi, Oshi, Oshi material. Oh my god. <gasps> you're my Oshi. You're my Oshi. Look oh my at god, you. you're my Oshi. <laughs> do you yeah. have an Oshi? You don't have to tell me, but do you have an Oshi? I don't actually think I do. Because, uh, you <gasps> know, I've been, I've been a VTuber for so long, so it's kind of weird to think of somebody uh -huh. else as an Oshi. Oh, that's fair. I do have people that I really like. I, like, there are. That's okay. Fair. I think my number one streamers that I love watching are uh, -huh. uh and like it's always very different it's um my friend giga you mm -hmm. and i like people that yap a lot and that are chill <laughs> so um. you two there's uh recently i've been watching a lot of matara khan um mm -hmm. and uh i watched an another one that i've been recently watching a lot is victoria brightshield there's a lot of people mm -hmm. that i just watch that they they're just chill and they yap i like people that Makes talk sense. a lot and yap and just like yeah. kind of relax it's kind of nice because everyone has a different vibe because like with talking about giga she just like is a hag and she like talks a lot right <laughs> she's just an old ass woman that yaps a lot and it's nice to listen to she's just like me for real and then i watch you and you're like very chill and you play very fun interesting games and it's <laughs> nice to just sit there and like watch you like just i don't know just vibe <laughs> I think it's easy to well I don't know from from my perspective at least it's easy to start watching and, and and enjoying streamers who have like somewhat of a similar like energy to you I don't know because I'm a very loud person so I and I don't really watch a lot of people that are much more high energy uh, energy oh, that's fair I feel like well the thing is like if if we do like variety streams or like chatting streams I feel like they can be of similar nature but yeah. my that my chatting streams is like watching your chatting streams but at like a fifth of the speed <laughs> <laughs> my chatting streams are your chatting streams but on like benzos you know what it is i think it's because you 
have the maturity to be like, I do not oh. need to fill in the space. Again, 10 second test. All right, we did it. <laughs> Yay. Just gonna keep doing that until chat is trained enough that I can <laughs> not talk for 10 seconds. <laughs> chat, that was only 10 seconds. It wasn't that bad. It was only silence for 10 seconds. You gotta get better at this. <laughs> we need to make you better at this. It's okay to be quiet. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna train them so I can actually do streams like yours where I can just like, I can actually focus on something without needing to constantly yap. But I mean, your streams have their own charm. Oh, of course. I mean, I'm not trying to put it down or anything like that. Everyone has their own thing. But it would mm -hmm. be nicer for me if I didn't have to. It'd be nicer if I could, like, you know, take yeah. a breath in between speaking <laughs> instead of having to run out of breath. I feel like my lungs take a beating every time yeah. I do a stream. Feeling forced to do it is, yeah, it's a different story. These bastards in my in my rib cage, they're like they're on their last limbs. <laughs> if a doctor looked at my lungs, I feel like he'd compare them to a smoker's, and I've never smoked a cigarette in my entire life. <laughs> what did you do to your lungs? Oh, I'm a Twitch streamer. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Put me next to somebody who smokes, and I guarantee you the smoker's lungs will probably last longer than mine. <laughs> oh no. And it's a sad thing to think about. <laughs> Uh, oh my god my vocal cords too this I, is what you have you are think of the people who who think of you as their oshi you have smokers lungs so that you can continue being their <laughs> oshi do you have an oshi do you have people that you really like watching oh oh i mean i i what mean that yeah mean? What is that? Okay. no what is that, that this oh. information i think this information should stay between me and god <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking that shit to the grave. You're no the one needs to know about all that. that. You don't want anyone to know about. I don't. A hundred percent. Oh my god, is it me? I... I get it. I'd be pretty embarrassing to admit to be their Oshi too. I'd... I get it. It's not that I'm embarrassed about like liking that person's streams. It's just like I can't talk. No, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> you never mind. If you talk, you give it away. I'm. I'm just. It's bad. No. Like it's bad. Okay, well, uh, you don't, don't have to <laughs> say it, but why is it bad? Why is it bad? I'm um, gonna push for this. I want to. I'm. Kind of, you're making me interested now. Cause it's like. Is these, it guilty these are pleasure? Not, no, not really. It's just like these. This, this is not. This, this is not okay. Levels of of liking. <laughs> oh, you're like. Oh, okay, I get it. You really, really like them. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I get it now. You're like, oh my god, out of pocket kind of like, this is my favorite person. Yeah. Oh, it's, what was the word? Kami Oshi. It's Mega Oshi. Yeah. Yeah. They're like number, they, number, number one. They are. They are. And they have been for like a long time. So. I'm so I just, curious. I just never. I just never. Because I have no <laughs> idea what you watch. I just never talk. I just, I, I've never talked about it. Like. Really? Openly. Yeah. I'm I keep my I keep my um my my fangirl tendencies very hidden. <laughs> <laughs> they it? are very private right. to me. <laughs> I will not pry any further. I just have one last uh -huh. question about it. Uh huh. Are they a streamer or are they a VTuber? VTuber. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I'll admit that it's a YouTuber. I'm fine with questions. I just I'm not gonna like outright say who it is. You got me so fucked up, man. <laughs> you got I, okay, okay, okay. I will I I will be respectful. I will not ask for it. It is, but you definitely got me fucked up now. Now I'm, now you got me curious as hell thinking about it. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck, that's gonna- I'm gonna be thinking about that all night. And, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, we can move- <laughs> I could give you- I could give you a hint. Are you okay with giving me a hint? Again, I don't wanna- pr I don't wanna push you for it. I think it'll be hard to figure out, so- Okay, okay, give me a hint. Um... Oh, well, I can't think of one now. What the fuck? Um... Uh, First uh, you uh, catfish uh, me, and then you fucking bait me. No, 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 I'm just trying to think of one that doesn't make it too- Okay, it's, uh, 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 uh it's 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 a boy. It's a man. 
Just like me. <laughs> it's a boy. It's a man. <laughs> it's me. It's um. It's, it's me. It's, 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 oh it's, my god. It's, it's, it's a, it's a I man. I appreciate it. I appreciate oh it. I didn't know it was me. I'm glad you like my streams. I didn't know oh you were god. a fan. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm assuming that they're not English speaking. I knew it. 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 I won't. I, it's okay. It's okay. Come back here. You can go ahead. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I won't. I won't pry further. I won't pry, I won't pry any further. Don't, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> You're like freaking, you're having a panic attack. She's sinking, she's sinking, she's sinking. <laughs> I will not pry any further. But it's now okay. I know. I, I would tell you in private. I would tell you in private. I, okay, I, I probably don't know them. I'm going to be real with you. I, really, <laughs> I only know English speaking VTubers. No, I think you do know them. Well, like personally? No, but like know about them. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't I think, think so. I do. No, I think you do. I don't know. I don't know other. I don't know non-English speaking VTubers. I think you're familiar though. You've probably at least heard the name. Have I, bro? I, I think so. I barely know any corporate VTubers too. I I've, think you've you've probably you've probably seen them at least once. The way you're saying it is, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> probably is a big name then, but I I don't know. It's not. I look. Like, hey, okay, I will be real. I do not watch anyone that isn't a friend of mine. So That's I fair. do not watch streamers unless mm -hmm. I personally am invested in them as a friend or if I like what they do. Mm -hmm. That's so fair. I'm like that too, except for with this one person. This one, <laughs> this one Kami Oshi that you have an obsession yeah. with. Literally, yes. I've never heard you fangirl so hard, except for like, <laughs> over certain like fictional men. This is crazy. It's oh bad. God, it's it's, it's not good. It's Jerma. <laughs> my Kamiyoshi's Jerma. <laughs> no, it's okay. I think it's kind of nice. I I've always wanted to have somebody like be an Oshi. I, I've always wanted to have an Oshi at some point to like, mm -hmm. be like I can point to somebody and be like that's my favorite. But it's always been like mm -hmm. just multiple people that I just enjoy watching that I already know like on a personal level. That's sweet though. That you're so you're supporting your friends and also you're enjoing their one content. Of them. Ah! Even you're though so my watch time in your channel is not that big, I think you're one of my favorite people to watch stream. Oh, you're so cute. I'm so happy I brought you on, dude. <laughs> I've been saying this for I'm a so while. happy you invited me. Yeah, I'm so happy. I was originally, <laughs> originally chat, uh, Nedine was going to be on, on her fucking birthday. <laughs> but then I realized it was, I had WeebCon that week. So we moved it to the week after. But I was so surprised that you were like, yeah, sure, I'll come on my birthday. What the <laughs> fuck? Because I don't care. Yeah, but like, that's your day. But if I get to, sp listen, I get to spend my day with a good friend. Ah, uh, uh. <laughs> That makes me happy. That makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, normally on my birthday, I feel like I need to, well, maybe it's because of the streamer brain rot again. But sometimes mm -hmm. on my birthday, I feel like I need to stream and I need to hang out with my chat specifically. Like I need to hang out with people, friends uh, of mine yeah. on stream with, for a chat, because I, otherwise I don't celebrate this shit, right? Yeah. Because it's like, well, what am I gonna do? Buy a cake for myself? Yeah. It's just when you, when you're an adult, it just gets like in a weird territory where it's like, how much, how much are you supposed to celebrate your birthday? <laughs> I don't even think I did it as a kid. Uh, like when I was yeah. younger, my birthdays were like I would have, I would ask for a video game, and that would be it. Mhm. Mm oh, I was the same. Mom, can we get The Legend of Starfy for Nintendo 3DS? Thank you. <laughs> can I have Nintendogs? Can I have Nintendo? Oh my god, <laughs> my poor Nintendogs are fucking dead. <laughs> All my Nintendogs are starved. They're dead. If I open that shit back the up, they're fucking gone. <laughs> it's just gonna be like a, like bones on the floor. <laughs> That's gonna be so fucked up to think about. <laughs> but I don't remember dude I actually don't think I can remember a proper birthday because mm -hmm. I never did birthday parties because I was shy uh, um. and also I didn't like like anyone in school enough to be like let's go play a, uh, let's have a birthday party right mm -hmm. and then like 
I never, uh, there was never anything that I specifically wanted besides video games and cake. So mm -hmm. that's all I would do for birthdays. That's so weird. Yeah. I, I physically, I think growing up like that, I physically cannot look at somebody else's birthday party and be like, oh, that, I would want that. Out of like a... Like somebody That's having a birthday party with a bunch of friends with them. Because I've, yeah. I've never specifically had something like that. So in my brain, and I never really wanted something like that. So in my brain, I can't understand mm. it properly. It's so like fully removed. Yeah, it, it feels weird. Mm -hmm. It feels weird. It's, I'm so removed from the idea of a birthday party that like mm -hmm. my brain cannot comprehend it properly. Yeah, that makes that. That's yeah, that's well, interesting. I mean, what did you do for your birthdays growing up? I mean, I was also a shy kid, but it was sort of like it, people just insisted you should have a birthday party. So I was just <laughs> miserable. Like during my entire, I was miserable and nervous throughout my entire birthday party, and then people went home, and I was like, "Thank God!" Oh my God! Now I now I can play anxiety. my video game. Yeah, <laughs> I get to play my video game when guests leave God, why can't the birthday they leave? party. I just want to play Final Fantasy <laughs> and eat cake. Yeah. Why are you guys True. here? True. No, Final Fantasy can't be paused. No, it's not a multiplayer <laughs> game. Stop asking. I don't want to play with you. <laughs> No, you can't plug in the second controller. It doesn't work like that. You know what you should have done? You should have sat there <laughs> playing the game and then have everyone sit behind you watching. True. You should have done on IRL stream. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, wait, can I do that actually? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I actually kind of want to do that. I want to do that for a stream one day. That'd be I'm so fun, do a actually. I stream of an IRL stream where I just play a video game and there's a couch behind me of people that just sit there and watch me play the game while backseating and asking stupid questions. You can just have the screen or the the room be really dark, so the only thing that's illuminating <laughs> is like the screen from the, the the TV. Yeah, yeah, and then I have them imitate real chat. So like it'll be like <laughs> first time chatter. Are your boobs real? <laughs> <laughs> Are you dating anyone? <laughs> How do I become a VTuber? How much money do you make? You're going the wrong way. Whatever, get a real job. I hate you. <laughs> random wow. slur and it just goes on and then it's just like what we have like a real life moderator come by and they just start bonking on people <laughs> just grab people and like forcefully remove them from yeah, the room. yeah they drag them off of the chairs <laughs> in the back and switch them out with new people to be my irl chat <laughs> why are you a man <laughs> bonk drags everyone has to like away. cup their hands so it sounds like they're speaking from really yeah, far yeah. away why are you a man <laughs> What's your size? Where, who are you? <laughs> I bet my mother could play this game better than you. <laughs> they, someone just rep, like repeats copy pastas in the background too. <laughs> oh my god, that's not a woman. What the fuck? All, VTu <laughs> all VTubers are men. <laughs> it's all the random hate comments that people get. All the like the classic ones. I don't know. I think that'd be a sick birthday party. Imagine you playing Final Fantasy and there's funny. people behind you just like <laughs> pretending to be chat. Yeah. There's a role playing chat. Live studio audience birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> please, you put that on the actual invite. You're like, please come be my live studio audience. Yes, please come by and bring like cardboard cutouts of emotes so you could just like put them up <laughs> on the screen. I think it'd be really funny. <laughs> Just wiggle a little, a little frog. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Every, <laughs> I, I, the idea behind it actually is kind of banging. I kind of want to do that now. It that's is actually, funny. That sounds really fun. Like you it play like some of your favorite video games, and in the background mm -hmm. you just have a chat. I actually, yeah. I was yapping about my favorite video games of all time yesterday, and I was thinking mm -hmm. about it, and I was, I was thinking about the games that I like, and I, then I started thinking about the games that you, we were going to talk about today with you. Yeah. And how, like, I feel like you're kind of a little bit of a retro gamer, in a way. Either, like, you play indie games and a lot of, like, older games. Not really mm -hmm. retro, so to speak, but technically they would be considered retro nowadays. At this point, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god, fucking Final Fantasy thirteen is 10 years old. <laughs> it's weird to think about. A lot of these games are old as fuck. Oh my god. Yeah. I got reminded that Halo is like 15 years old yesterday and it oh. broke my brain. Oh. Final Fantasy I'm 10 is 20 years old. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> That's messed up. 
I mean, just thinking about specifically thinking about how old the PS the PS2 is at this point is is horrifying. I was an Xbox kid. This oh, is really? like the most yeah, this is the most generational thing that we could have done. We brought together two people that only played on one specific <laughs> console. True. We I have mean, the a lot PlayStation of... RPG gamer, and then we have the shooter Xbox gamer. Yeah. <laughs> The thing that happened for me specifically was because I I, I had um, unsupervised, uh, unlimited internet access at a much too young age. I'm so for, sorry for your for, loss. For, for, yeah, your poor <laughs> it mental was, state. It was not good. Uh, but it it just ended up with me playing a lot of emulating. First of all, oops, can't say that. But uh, we oh, mean uh, uh, legally. Uh, getting the games that the lovely um, gen companies mm -hmm. allow people to buy and totally don't take off store shelves so there's no way to play uh -huh. them yep legally For finding real. these games go ahead <laughs> i just ended up playing a lot of really old horror games and also really? yeah but specifically <laughs> so funny that you can handle horror but can't handle hot sauce that's kind of crazy well, all right. We don't need to talk about all that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you swinging for? Sorry, sorry. I threw a punch. And I didn't mean it for to. I didn't mean for it to land. My bad. I was. It was a shadow boxing area. I didn't. I didn't move out of the way fast enough. <laughs> you should have died. Okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> it's it's so like. I don't know. I've just ended up at a point where I've played a lot of like. I played a lot of real, real bad um, visual novels. I played a real, real oh, bad no. like RPG Maker games oh, no. that That'd I shouldn't classic. have. RPG. Fucking all yeah. the RPG makers that I played as a kid, I I like, but they're honestly <laughs> so trash because the endings are always so fucking edgy and bad. Oh yeah, a lot of a lot oh, of them just end with like started. everyone dying. Fuck you, yeah. witch's house. Fuck you, <laughs> uh, uh, mad father. Fuck you. <laughs> Wada Nohara, fuck, fuck, eat shit, fuck all of you. You guys all suck. Why do you, why do you have the most edgy ass endings of, uh, known to mankind? A lot of them do have uh, just, just horrible, tragic why. endings. I don't know why. Yeah. They have such ed they're so edgy. Like, no real <laughs> happy endings happen in real life. Motherfucker, I, I played Ib, okay? Yeah. <laughs> that one had a happy ending. I played fucking To the Moon, and that one had a happy ending. Fuck you. <laughs> God, I remember playing Angels of Death. I I tried to play RPG Maker games in modern mm -hmm. day era. I tried to play Angels of Death like three, four, no, five, four to five years ago on uh -huh. on stream, and the entire time I was just like, guys, this is kind of fucking edgy. <laughs> this is like, and then they made an anime. It was when they made an anime about it, and I was playing it. And I was like, I don't know if I like this, but I'm playing through it. I'm still going through it. Because they have they, good, they have like atmosphere, they have like vibes. Yeah, there's such a thing of their time. It's so weirdly like mm -hmm. drippy with atmosphere, like yeah. like it, it it almost feels fashionable in a way. Because mm -hmm. like some of the some of the games have like an aesthetic, have an atmosphere that's kind of hard to find, uh, and they're very like Japanese. I don't know how to describe. Uh, some of them might not even have been made by Japanese developers, but they're very like. Mm -hmm. Japanese indie game aesthetics because a lot of mm -hmm. Japanese indie games now that are horror games kind of have the same vibes they all have the same kind of like tone mm -hmm. I, I guess hard to explain it's weird to think yeah. about yeah for sure and then you play them and then you're like pissed off by the fucking endings and you're like man fuck this shit <laughs> fuck this shit I hate this piece of shit I just it's so I don't know I ended up fall I fell into a rabbit hole I played a bunch of uh, obscure, awful shit that I should not have played. And now I came out the other end and I'm just like very... What's the word? What's what's the word? Desensitized? Desensitized? Desensitized. I was going to call you a neat for a second, but yeah, desensitized. De All right, well... No, no, not in a bad way. <laughs> we love you. You're girl boss. You're slave. You're slave. <laughs> You're serving. <laughs> That's all you have to add at the end, and I'm happy. You're so bad. You need girl ball, slay. She slay, she slay. <laughs> it just ended up with a uh, very strange brain chemistry, and now all that brings me joy is like weird, obscure little horror games. Signalis. Signalis is good. 
I thought that, it was. I do, thought it do was. Do you have a specific one that you were thinking of then? When you say weird oh, obscure horror games that you really enjoy? Not really. Well, I mean, what did I? What's like a reason? I played Faith. Have you played Faith? Oh, Faith. Uh, yeah. It's not that obscure, but it's good. I thought, Morty's. I, the way they talked made me. It, I don't think I, I. Okay, I don't get scared by horror games, right? You're desensitized. Uh, oh. I got desensitized as well. Uh. I, wait, 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 that's so interesting. Yeah, no, well, I used to. I used to. Five, four, uh -huh. four to five years ago, I would mm -hmm. play horror games and I would, like, get scared and scream. Uh -huh. But now I play a horror game and I I don't know why and I don't know when it happened, but they don't scare me anymore because I get so taken out of the game. Because mm -hmm. the game mechanic, I always, like, I'm super hypercritical of game mechanics and horror games. Mm -hmm. And I just, like... I can't get scared. And then I play Elden Ring and then a random like a creature coming up to attack me scares me. And it's like, what the fuck? That's so interesting. This is like one of my favorite topics when 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 talking about the the genre in general. What like how I think I think that's so get? interesting. How scared people get and then also cuz I think a lot of people have exactly they feel the way that you do, where it's like, I just can't get scared by horror games, really. But I used to. I used to be able to get mm -hmm. scared. And I think the more I streamed, the more, the less scared I got. Which sucks, by the way, because now mm -hmm. I can't get content out of horror games. Now I play <laughs> horror games, and all the content is me reacting with a stone face to everything. <laughs> which kind of fucking sucks, because it's like, I can't get, like, like jump scare content for Twitter and TikTok yeah. and shit like that. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, I'm scared. I can't. I can't. I know oh a lot of people God. that have grown from that too. I, yeah. I I have a friend. I think Shoto Shoto, uh, another VTuber. He played a lot of horror games and always gets scared by them. And like, it makes great mm -hmm. clips. I cannot do the same thing, and it makes me <laughs> mad. It makes me angry. Why Is can't I get scared? I'm gonna start faking. I'm gonna fake my screen from now on. <laughs> it's a it's a skill issue. Clearly, it really is. It's a skill issue to not be scared at <laughs> stuff. Yeah. I also, it's so, like, that makes me curious of, okay, what, do you have a favorite horror game? Little Nightmares. I don't oh, like a fair. lot of horror games because I think mm -hmm. a lot of them boil down to, I'm being chased, I run. I'm And if oh. you die, you have to do the entire section over again, and it gets more angry than, uh, oh. than scary. Sorry. I got, okay, that's like, well, the <laughs> thing about, <laughs> I got really excited. Cute. That was really cute. I got, I got excited because this is the thing about specifically about horror games that no, I'm gonna yap, but specifically in horror it, games, yeah. specifically in horror games that have like any type of like stalker enemy, it's always an issue of balancing, you know, when does this enemy just get bad. annoying? <laughs> yeah, it, a lot of I agree with you. A Outlast, lot of the time, it's, it's awful. Garbage. I don't like Outlast. <laughs> I also don't like Outlast. I don't like Outlast. Alien Isolation was okay, but I also don't like the stuff. Like, it gets annoying sometimes. Like Yeah, the, yeah, absolutely. It got praised and a lot for good AI, but sometimes it still was an annoying stalker vibes. When you are annoyed by an enemy, that's almost like completely the complete opposite of what you're supposed to be feeling towards that enemy. I actually think be the best horror games are the short ones. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Chilla does some good ones, but they aren't really, like, scary. They're, like uncomfortable oh uh, i have i've they it's like the bathhouse um mm -hmm. people right Chilizar. i've never played i never played any one of their games they made a game called the closing shift and it actually like mm. made me physically uncomfortable all the time because it oh. what it is it's just all of them are very like most of them are very realistic scenarios you play mm -hmm. as a girl that works at a starbucks basically mm. and uh you have a stalker and like you're just you you're on the closing shift every night uh, mm -hmm. and the stalker eventually, like, it just kind of creeps you out and then breaks in, and you uh. basically just running away. It, it's a very, like, it's like a, you are a defenseless girl kind of thing scenario, and it's just mm -hmm. a very creepy thing. It's very real, and it, it makes you uncomfortable. It, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, other games are like, ha! And then it's just trying to scare you. And it's like, okay. That's why I like Little Nightmares so much. Because Little Nightmares mm -hmm. is exactly that. It's uncomfortable and it tries to scare you. But it knows when to stop. And the sections mm -hmm. are fun and kind of clever. Like, they're short little running sections. Uh, you have to do a puzzle to get through. And it's fun. It's a fun game. Yeah. Knowing when to when to dial it back, I think, is like one of the most important things in any horror game, really. 
Because really you don't is. want that constant, like, flashing of, like, be scared! Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, that's just... It's ah, ridiculous. Be scared, be scared, be scared! Yeah, rah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rah. It's just... It's, it's terrible. It's It really is, because the, the pacing and tempo gets so fucked up a lot of the time. Absolutely. I'm trying to think of other horror games that are good besides Little Nightmares. I have a lot that I like. Yeah, what are some? <laughs> Give me your, well, give me a your lot passions. Of them... Give me your passion. Oh my goodness. Good here. horror games. I mean, I think Haunting Ground is like peak. Let me check this out. Haunting you Ground list them is. Off. I'm looking them up on Steam. Haunt... Oh, Haunting Ground is not on Steam. It's from like the Stone Age. It's a really old Capcom game. Oh, really? Um, mm hmm. It's basically based off of um, Clock Tower, which is another franchise. Um, they're like the, the sort of it's 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 basically a clock tower game, but they didn't call it that. <laughs> Wait, I, there's a lot of fan art for this. For Haunting Ground? Yeah. It's yeah, like, it's a very they're... popular game, but it's never been re-released, and it's so frustrating. Wait, there's a dog. One of these yeah! is like a weird creature, like licking this girl's leg. What the fuck is going on here? Um, don't worry do about I that. Save search on. What is? It? I do. What the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> don't worry about all that. This is cute. Wait, this, why does this actually look good? I love Haunting Ground. I think it's so good. What the fuck? Okay, chat here. I can show you guys. This actually like looks kind of like good for such an old game. Interestingly, it has the like stalker type enemies, but it's a very short game. It's a really short game and it has a lot of different types of like stalker enemies and they don't all move the same way. So it never gets old. I kind of want to show chat the picture of like the, the 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 there it is. There's the dog looking for food, and then there's like this weird creature just licking this girl's leg. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this game? Don't worry about it. Oh, there. You wait, gotta, you, oh my god. You gotta play to find out. Too. I don't mm -hmm. have a PlayStation Two. You know those are being sold for four thousand dollars right now. Huh? Yeah, scalpers held on to PS Twos for so long that they're selling brand new PS2s for like $4,000. 4000 We Man, I fucking hate scalpers. We hate scalpers oh, in this bitch. Oh, we hate scalpers. Fuck uh, scalpers. Yeah. But this game looks good. Haunting Ground is really, really good. Clock The Clock Tower franchise in itself is really good. Was this like a spinoff from another game? Um, It's like not officially a spinoff, but it basically is. It's like a spiritual successor. Oh my gosh. To, to Clock Tower. Uh, Fatal Frame. I like the first Fatal Frame games. I think they're good. Specifically, Somebody was trying two. to recommend me Fatal Frame yesterday, and I was like, this uh -huh. looks like a very long game. Uh, they kind of are. I mean, the earlier ones are shorter, um, but... I mean, how do you make a horror game long? It's kind of hard to do that without it getting repetitive yeah. and tiring. It's just a story, yeah. Damn. Just give Damn. me a long cutscene. Honestly, at this point, <laughs> no, horror movies are worse. Horror games are better than horror movies. I know that for sure. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I'm trying I to love think Fatal of something Frame. else. Because yeah, cool. Little Nightmares is perfect just based on length, but then, the, like, you're you're giving me some good ones that are long. I also noticed yeah. that all of the ones mm -hmm. that you're giving me are Capcom or, like... Well, have you heard of a little video game called Kuon? <laughs> Kuon. Have you? I mean, I know you. I I know you are familiar with um hit video game developer from software. Yeah, wait. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't know they made a horror game. Yeah, they made I several. They, they made uh, oh, Echo Knight they, as well. I only know about um the Dark Souls series, Demon Souls, mm -hmm. Bloodborne, Sekiro, and then they had uh, Kingsfield. I didn't, and then they made a very weird like like Shadow Ninja video game. <laughs> They, I mean, most people just know from software for like the Soul series. I forgot that they made other, uh, made other games. Kuon. Uh, Kuon is. Um, I feel like I've ooh. seen games pay tribute <laughs> to this game. Um, it's a very interesting horror game. It is, however, a <laughs> massive warning. It's the combat in it is like atrocious and extremely repetitive. <laughs> well, they didn't master their combat yet. I can't blame them. <laughs> It's yeah. Imagine a it's, horror game with Dark Souls combat. That'd be so <laughs> weird. It is like peak atmosphere though, and peak aesthetics. I love it. It's I like one of my favorite character. horror games. 
Yeah, it's one of my favorite horror games, but um, as long as you can stomach very repetitive combat, I recommend Kuon. I like how you're saying it's about the combat and not like stomach grotesque visuals or anything like that. No, I mean, listen, I Wait, know, I know why you're. Are there games that you're <laughs> recommending me on the a list that says the top five rarest PS2 games. What the fuck? <laughs> Cause this is, listen, this is, this, this is who I am. <laughs> Top five rarest PS2 games. What the fuck, NettyNet? Like, I, I am the way I am. <laughs> both of these. This You're isn't even a, you scratching. You might, might be a hipster, fuck. This isn't even scratching the surface of like obscure. I, I honestly don't even think these are that obscure. I've never heard of them. I've never oh, met fair. somebody that learned, knows FromSoft made a horror game. <laughs> Darkest Dungeon isn't a horror game. It's just really good. It's just a really lovely, fun game to play. I think those are Some... the type of games that are like stress games. They they try yeah. to make you have anxiety over like ba being bad. I was just about to say, there's a lot of games that like, they're right on the edge of like horror, but they just make you feel anxious. Mm -hmm. Like My Little Pony, uh, Friends <laughs> of Magic, the third game. Under... Yep. Or, or, you know, there's a, there's a lot of games that could be really stressful. One of my personal favorite horror games that I've mm -hmm. been playing a lot uh, and that yeah. I think scares the shit out of me. And I mean, like, for real, this shit, like, freaks me out. Uh, I've been playing this game called Peggle. And, like, <laughs> there's a moment in the game where you, uh, you like, you shoot your ball, right? And then yeah. it doesn't land in the bucket to give you a free ball when you have no balls left. I honestly have shit myself more times than I can count playing Peggle. <laughs> it's honestly terrifying at that point. It's the scariest, scariest video game experience imaginable. If I, when they play the Whoa, right as the ball is about to get in the bucket, <laughs> terrifying, terrifying. Never know if it's actually going to get in or not, or if it's going to bounce out. Freaks me the fuck out. It's, um, it's like edging. It's like edging. I have oh my never God. in my entire life ever thought I would hear you say the word edging. <laughs> you're, 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 you're Peggle, you're Peggle gooning. Stop, stop. Don't, don't say gooning with your voice. No, this is weird. <laughs> this is weird. This feels wrong. I, I've watched so many of your streams. I've never heard you ever say something like that before. Don't do that. <laughs> you're ruining my image of you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Don't say goo, no! <laughs> I've never gooed in my life, ew! <laughs> You're peggle gooning. It's true! She's trying to turn into a youngin. She's gonna say stick out your gyat soon, no! I still don't understand what that is. Um... Gyat... I'm assuming... Okay, in that exact turn of phrase, they're using uh -huh. the word gyat as a way to describe somebody with a fat ass, right? Oh. So they're saying stick out your ass for the Rizzler, which is, I assume, stick out your ass for somebody. Maybe, st it's like a joke, I assume. It's it's something from a meme. It's a lot to handle. It is, it is. I'm surprised <laughs> that I've been keeping up in. with this. I remember a year, a year <laughs> or two ago, back when I started TikTok, I was like, I never want to watch TikTok. I, I think TikTok is the worst fucking thing in the world. It's so bad. My attention span is going to get worse and I'm going to become a stupider streamer. Like I'm going to become a worse streamer from watching TikTok. And you know what? I was not wrong. I am way less funnier than I was last year. I was way funnier two years ago, <laughs> bro. I started no. using TikTok and like not only did it actually like kind of brainwash me into walking watching it i sometimes will open it up and i'll like three hours will pass by and then i have to stop myself i have to like break myself out of a trance i'm like fuck fuck what was i doing <laughs> what happened what do you mean it's 9 p.m i i started i i sat down to look at my phone at five what the fuck <laughs> and it's the same thing with youtube shorts not only has my attention span gotten worse my comedy has gotten worse <laughs> but everything has gotten worse because it just like I like my sleep schedule too. Like randomly, three hours will pass when I just open up YouTube Shorts or TikTok, and it's the worst thing in the world. I used to fucking be funny. I used to be funny. 
I this is why the jokes. government wants TikTok banned. This is, yeah, this is why the government wants TikTok <laughs> to get banned. This is why I'm practicing the ten, 10 seconds of silence every so often. 10 seconds! And, okay. Good Yay. job, everyone. Teamwork. Let's go. Yay. Teamwork. Yippee. Yippee. Slowly training my chat. <laughs> <laughs> that means I should never jingle keys in front of them ever again. You got to <laughs> bring out the, the spray bottle. I really should. I can hear the voices. <laughs> I have a voice in my head. Yeah, that's called your conscience, idiots. That's why. <laughs> you just haven't Everyone listened to it them. in a very long time. <laughs> Everyone's got a voice in their head. It came free with your friggin' brain. And I did not, okay? I have the oldest <laughs> brain known to mankind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I think one of my favorite jokes of all time is, um, do you ever see the video of the skeleton in a supermarket that's like, I have a joke for you. What is a skeleton's favorite snack? Go on, guess! And then they like fail to guess the thing, and the entire time it's just like, GUESS, damn it! <laughs> no! Ribs! Spare <laughs> ribs! Why must you fail me so often? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> And like it's just a skeleton that they're holding and then they bash the skeleton's head into a fucking like into a, a box because they're so angry It's so violent It's very violent and somehow very funny because the guy <laughs> he's asking the question to is just laughing hysterically the entire time <laughs> So he cannot properly answer the joke <laughs> It's so good <laughs> It's so good I don't know, I think everyone has like one video on the internet that like constantly makes them laugh. Like it always makes their day when they see it. Oh yeah. Do you have one? Or is it your I Oshi? have, it's... oh my God, you're still on that? <laughs> you're still on that? <laughs> to be fair, when I am having a bad day, I will watch my Oshi and oh my, my God, day dude. will instantly be better. I'm so happy that I can make your day better. That makes me happy oh to God. hear. Oh, oh my God. Oh. You make my day better too when I watch your streams. My Oshi, my Oshi. Oh my gosh. Oh my goshi. No, no. Do you do you have a do you have like a specific oh. thing that you always think of when you're like, this oh. is my favorite joke. I have a very specific. I have a genre of of, of jokes that I really like, and it's specifically like Super Mario sixty four edits. <laughs> Wahoo! And then like, there's, there's something about Mario, like Mario 64 edits that just makes me laugh so every single specific. time. Like the one where they like the the Mario face at the start of the screen on the the GameCube, where you can like grab his face. Yeah. Oh my god. That's anything so that's specific. edited to that, anything that's edited to that, or someone like doing a backflip and they backflip into the painting or some shit. Like, no. I can't deal with it. The fuck, it's so there, funny. Uh, one where there is a speed running technique where you like backflip up the stairs and Mario just goes oh, yeah. like immediately up the stairs. He's like having a uh, like a spasm. He's losing his mind. There's just something about Mario. He's he's just a funny guy. I think you just like funny little Italian man. <laughs> Maybe I do. Who knows. You should watch The Sopranos at that point. <laughs> you might find more comedy there. Maybe. A little bit more angry than Mario, but still. <laughs> it still blows my mind that the voice actor for Mario was the fucking dragon from Skyrim. What? Do you not know that? No. Uh, Parthenax from Skyrim, the big wise dragon, is the same voice actor as, the, as Mario. Voice actors are something else. It's really weird, isn't it? <laughs> It's crazy. Can you imagine him saying Wahoo, it's a me Mario? <laughs> or Mario talking like him. Oh my god. <laughs> Mario drops you some wise wisdom, but it's like word for word from Parthenax. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and he was the Nidhogg in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh my god. That's and nuts. they didn't want to get him for the Mario movie. That's ridiculous. No, they had to get Crispy Rat. I'm so mad about that. Crispy Rat. 
fucking crispy rat. <laughs> what the fuck? Famous, famous actor, crispy rat. Do you watch a lot of movies? Not at all. I know you didn't seem like the. T I mean, I don't either, mm -mm. so I don't know. I'm dead judging. You didn't seem like the type <laughs> to watch like a ton of movies. I like exclusively watch horror movies. Yeah, but those are like terrible. <laughs> There's some good ones. What's but... a good horror movie? Incantation. What's Incantation? That sounds like a it Disney is. movie. It is. No, 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 no. It's it's this Taiwanese Twitches. horror movie. Twitches too. Let's go Disney. <laughs> Let's go. Hang on, I'll I'm gonna sh prove I'm gonna prove you wrong. Right, it's on Netflix, I think. Bat, bat. Unless I'm misremembering. While you do that, I'll show my chat Twitches too. The twi the <laughs> show, the movie about two twi uh, two twin witches. Look Is at them go, <laughs> chat. Aren't they crazy? Classic Disney movie. I thought you were making this up. No, it's a movie about twin witches. <laughs> I I thought you were making this up. It is a real movie called Twitches 2. <laughs> and hmm. they have two different movies. This is a sequel. Oh. Isn't it beautiful? What's this, what's the second one called? Twitches 2? Yep, Twitch Twitches and then Twitches 2. <laughs> they should have named it Two Witches. Like Two Witches? Twitches Bewitched Edition. Well, it's cuz they're twin witches. They're Twitches. Like in the movie I they think... have a pog champ. Maybe some people shouldn't be allowed to make movies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I've been saying that about Disney for a long time. <laughs> I think most Star Wars fans figured that out when the first Disney movie came out. I've never seen a full Star Wars movie. Do you want to change that? Um, do I don't you think you're know. not interested? I think I'm not interested. Oh. But I don't know. Because, I mean, I've never fun. watched a full one, so... I mean, I don't like the Star Wars movies, but I love Star Wars. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. You don't like the movies, but you like Star Wars? You just okay. like the universe? I the like setting? the Star Wars universe, and I like the TV oh. show uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. Because that is well written. Star Wars oh. is great. I like the universe. I read the books, and I love the Clone Wars TV show. Mm -hmm. Do I like the movies? Not really. Do I like the uh, original movies? Not really. I like the Clone Wars specifically because it had aliens and it was cooler and it was more political. Mm -hmm. While the rebellion is just like, we're humans and we're fighting aliens. Or we're fighting mm -hmm. an evil empire that also all is basically humans. And there's barely, basically no aliens in this fucking movie. And there's not really <laughs> much space opera about this. It's just kind of like, whatever. <laughs> Star Wars is good. Not, it's not for everyone though. I also like Lord uh -huh. of the Rings, and I, you know what? I've been getting into reading. I, I bought recently a book called Mistborn Saga, so I'm excited to get into that. A phrase, the, the phrase I'm getting into reading is very funny for you to say, like as a fully grown adult. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm a VTuber. First off, second off, like this is a good way to prove that I have a full fledged brain, unlike most VTubers. <laughs> You can read? I can read, yeah. Well, technically, That's crazy. I'm, I'll be real with you. It's more, it's audible. <laughs> it's an audio book. <laughs> it's an audio book, but yes, I can read. That makes it funnier. It is technically an audio book, but I don't want to talk. And nobody judge me for that. I've read books before. I have a bookshelf. That's, that's mostly manga, but I do have books on there. I read The Alchemist. By Paulo <laughs> Coelho. That was a good book. <laughs> <laughs> Audiobooks count. It's the same thing. I still have to keep my attention span for that. All right. What's the True. movie that you're going to show me? You're going to show me a horror movie. Oh, yeah. Incantation. It's a really good uh, uh, Taiwanese horror movie. That's on Netflix, I believe. Incantation. It's like found footage, um, but like good. This looks sick. It's really good. I really like it. Is it actually scary? Yes. So here's the thing. I see the movie, but also I see a rock band of just like straight men with like, wait, hold on. What the heck? Dude, this is truly the scariest thing of all of all time. Four <sighs> old men in a rock band. Oh no. Ah! 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 Truly the horror movie of all time. Ah! Give them some sunglasses and you'd see them at a straight pride parade. <laughs> No, this looks cool. It's I, a very good movie. I actually do like the the cover for this. That's a yeah. book. Yeah. It's it's real good. Is this a MILF? 
Sorry, sorry, huh? sorry. Nothing, nothing. My bad. Uh huh? Uh, ignore me. I got distracted for a second. Ignore me. Huh. Ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. No, don't eh, come back. Don't do that. Come back. Natty, nat, 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 we, we, nat, we, nat, we, nay. Excuse me, ma'am. You're so, chat, you're so big. Chat, did you, chat, just hear this guy? <laughs> what the fuck? What do you want from me? I can say these things. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're learning how to use it now. You like, you know that you can just get in front and like push yourself to the front of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was very funny that I like overlap you. Well, I can do this and then overlap you. <gasps> what? No! <laughs> right click to get in front of somebody. Uh, right, wait, uh, right click to move without getting in front of somebody. Left click to get in front of them. Oh! So you can do this and then I can do this and then you can do it again. What? And we can fight over dominance. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <gasps> No! <laughs> it's so silly. My stream. <laughs> I'm glad it's so fun looking at you learn about technology. <laughs> so it's, you're not even it's that like much I, older than I me. Just... You're like only a few years older than me and you, you, <laughs> you act like such a grandma. I only just now discovered fire, like two days ago. Oh shit, you saw the fire update. <laughs> Did you Huge remember to fire download the patch? Though. Because otherwise it's gonna like <laughs> spread out of hand. It's gonna clip through the walls. It Watch will. Out. It actually burns through the walls. You need to uh, download the patch. <laughs> that shit gets hot if you get too near it. They patched that out though. <laughs> that we would were, be horrifying. Imagine not thing feeling the heat. Insulation. <laughs> oh yeah, did you discover, did you learn about cooking? That was also another, uh, that was like a, another recent patch that was sick. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't gotten that far yet. Ooh, we gotta we gotta get you up today. We, uh, how much RAM do you have left? <laughs> That's the reason I only cucumber slices and saltines. No. I haven't discovered no. cooking. Oh no! <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. We'll fix her. We can fix her. We can. Fix her. <laughs> I don't know about that. We can fix her. I think All I'm we, too we far do, gone. Uh, here's the plan, chat. Get one of those box traps, put like a rare original copy uh, with the, 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 like the game guide and the full casing of Haunting Ground. Put it under the box trap. Once we capture her, get a CRT, put up a, uh, put a PlayStation 2 there, let her play it. While she's playing it, we slowly make her actual meals and like we brush her hair. We fix her. We fix her. We just have to distract her. It would work. It would work. It would work. It would work. We put like a CRT TV, a PlayStation 2 in Haunting Grounds. We just let you play that. And while you're playing it, like we get like a bunch of maids to come out when you start brushing your hair. And like we give you like a full course meal to make sure that you're eating properly. That's all I need. <laughs> I don't need anything else. I'm a simple woman. Oh my God. <laughs> How to kidnap your friends to give them self-care. Written by Porcelain Maid. <laughs> I love the idea of that. I love that you can just like kidnap your friends just by giving them something that they hyper fixate on for a second. <laughs> no, you know. Oh my God, here you go. I just go up to a friend and I'm like, here's a, here's here's Monster Hunter Freedom Unite on the PSP. Enjoy, enjoy, <laughs> go, play, go ahead and play that. Did you have a PSP? Oh my god, of fucking course I had a PSP. I have three yeah! PSPs right now. Let's go! Did you PSP have a Vita too? PSP is my too? favorite. No, I wish I got a Vita. Oh, I really want to buy a modded Vita. <laughs> I would really like that. But mm -hmm. I don't know where to find one. Like, what do I look up? Do modded oh, yeah. PS Vita? Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I have no clue how you would get your hands on one now. Well, Unless you, know, you like know someone that can mod it personally. You know what I did? I bought a PSP. Mm -hmm. Uh, cause mm -hmm. I wanted to replay, I wanted to look up my old save file for Monster Hunter on my old PSP, which had mm -hmm. a broken charger. Um, so I bought a new PSP, realized it was one of the newer versions that was all plastic, right? And I was like, mm -hmm. this is garbage. Kept it, <laughs> bought another one. That one was also the wrong version, right? Mm -hmm. And then I got a third one. <laughs> And the third one was the original PSP that had metal and was like hefty, right? It was a girthy PSP because uh -huh. that one feels nice in my hands. Then I finally checked <laughs> and I saw that I had like 5,000 hours in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. 
Jesus. Okay, well, I didn't know that there were other Monster Hunter games. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> But it was it was a PSP 1000. That's what it was. I really want to try oh. a PS Vita though. I wish it was backwards compatible. Mm hmm. I think that would have helped it. Man, I wish. I, you know, they are actually uh, PlayStation is making another portable. Oh. There's been leaks going around that they're announcing a portable next year. Huh. Which I'm really excited about. And it's not the weird thing where it's like the one where you could play the games that you already own in your house, but you can't play it anywhere else. It's like mm -hmm. an actual PSP portable, maybe. So I'm, oh. you know, fingers crossed, hoping for the best. Mm -hmm. I feel like you would be a Monster Hunter person. I don't know. I feel like you, you would like Monster Hunter. I feel like it's either hit or miss with you. I sort of am a Monster Hunter person, but I'm so bad Monster at Hunter it. Monster Hunter girlies, Monster Hunter girlies, rise up. It's never, I, I enjoy it, but it's never like fully clicked with me. Really? I, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it feels like a game that you'd like, but if it never clicked, I guess, you know, it, it depends. It might be a skill issue. Um, all right. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 it, I mean, it kind of, Loki, it kind of is. I don't know what it is. It's just, it just never, it's not for I everyone. have friends. I have friends that are really good at Monster Hunter. I, for some reason, it just never clicked with me. You liked it, but it was never like, I'm obsessed with this. Like other people would be. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's fair. I'm not, I'm not built for it. I, th I don't know why, but in my head, I thought you would really like Monster Hunter. And I mm -hmm. think it's because of Monster Hunter's aesthetic being very kind of goofy. Like it doesn't take itself seriously, <laughs> but it's very fun. Yeah. Monster Hunter It is lore. a good time. Monster when door. I do play when I when I do play it with with friends, I do enjoy it. So what did you play on the PSP then? On the PSP? Yeah. Oh, my PSP and my PS Vita were both like <laughs> RPGs only. I, sh I shouldn't no, I shouldn't out myself like this. I like exclusively played like Otome games, like oh dating stuff. <laughs> This is, it, does this all lead into your Kami Oshi being like a, <laughs> being, I bet they're a pretty boy, aren't they? I fucking can tell already. You're I can tell. so stuck on this. Yeah, I can tell already because you said that you're, you were a big Otome fan. I can tell. I can fucking tell. I can smell it. I can fucking smell it. <laughs> I actually did play Otome games when I was younger. <laughs> Oh my god, let's go! I played one, well, I did it for YouTube videos, right? I would play them um, for YouTube videos. I played one called Seduce mm -hmm. Me Otome, which actually, in the future, I met the maker of the game, which is kind of crazy, too. Oh my god, that's so cool! Yeah, do you like men? Gee, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I like, um, I like everyone. <laughs> No, I do too, but I'm all, I'm, I'm, sp I like everyone in, like, the concept kind of way. Ah, yeah, see, yeah. I like I like them as a concept, but I don't like the idea of of, of me being in those scenarios. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I no. What are you played exclusively Otome games, huh? Absolutely. My PSP and my PS Vita were both my Otome game machines, basically. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, I've only played exclusively like Persona. No, Otome no. games. <laughs> Just exclusively Otome games. What the fuck? And the ones, the ones that I couldn't get my hands on, like Japanese ones that I couldn't get my hands on, I would just find like downloads for on a bunch oh of sites. Oh my god! And that's also how I ended up playing a lot of uh, right, me, a lot of visual novels me, with very some... with very extreme content. Give me some, give me some names, give me some names. Let me let me judge your taste. Oh, what for Otome games? What the boys look like? Yes. Oh, um, um, uh, but I, what's like a new one that's, that would, you would, um, um, um no, I like no, Color Malice. Can, I'm gonna look them up, I'm gonna look them up, give, give me no, the no, names, no, no. give me the names. Color, Color Malice is good, like Color X Malice is good. Color Malice. It's a very, it's a very like entry level one. Very good. Okay, okay, they're not bad looking, they're not bad looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Aren't maybe, you? Aren't maybe, you interested? Maybe a little generic. Their, their hair is very big, but they don't look yeah. bad. <laughs> they don't look bad. Oh, oh. One of the first images I am seeing is a girl getting choked out, though. No, okay, don't look at that. That is what I. It's kind of hard not to. It's the first thing that popped up. <laughs> we don't gotta worry about all that. It's one of the first images that popped up. <laughs> it's like in the second fucking row. <laughs> They don't look bad though. Okay, give me, give me, give me another one. Um. Well, okay. 
I Give love me one of the um, old ones. Come on. One of the old. I mean, I love. I love like, like period pieces, like historical stuff. So I mean, Hakuoki is really good. I like Hakuoki a lot. Um, Kenga Kimi is really oh, good. Okay, well these these ones look good. Mm -hmm. They look like they're proper proportions. Thank you for the raid, Alex. <laughs> They look like they they look normal. I like this one. I How also just like men good. with ponytails. That's good. Oh, fair. they're the Shinsengumi. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. Shinsengumi period piece. Yeah. Means, yeah I just listen. Okita Soji. Isn't it Sojo? What the fuck? I love me. I love me some 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 period Ichikasa. piece stuff. Yep. All the fucking names. All the names. <laughs> Just give me the Edo period. Just give. Bro, I love the 1700s. It's Just so give funny it to that me. I know all of the fucking Shinsengumi because of Gintama. That's crazy. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't tell if the main character was like a tiny girl or a tiny boy. No. <laughs> she looks pretty androgynous. You know what? I like when the characters are androgynous. I feel like that hits mm -hmm. harder. Mm-hmm. It's smart too because it's it makes it easier for the 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 player to project regardless of their gender. You know what? I judge I rate this one higher than the last one you showed. That's fair. I rate this it's one higher than Collar Malice. That's fair. And I do not I mean, judge I would you for too. your ultimate game love. <laughs> Thank you. I used to play hentai games that were really bad <laughs> to kill time. I mean, I played a lot. I played a fair share of like just the I mean, shitty I, H games. Yeah. To be fair, some of them actually are fun. Some of them are oh, fun. Yeah. I played one that was a knockoff of Castlevania, and that was actually fun. <laughs> I was like, wow, I get to play Castlevania, and there's tits. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Yippee! My two, my two favorite things, <laughs> Castlevania and boobies. There's boobies in Castlevania. I mean, okay, to be, to be fair. A lot, I feel like a lot of people play these games because they're like no commitment, right? Yeah. A lot of the time, some people are, because honestly, that is a big problem that goes around nowadays where there's like game commitment issues, which mm -hmm. sounds so fucking silly because video games are something to relax with. But a lot yeah. of people have trouble committing to a video game that they know is going to take a long time. Yep. Uh, so a lot of these H games that are ripoffs of, you know, actual good games are like, I don't know, five hours to 10 hours and you can just play them and then you're done. Yep. And there's a little spice on the side for some. That being mm -hmm. said, a lot of them have really shitty spice on the side, so most of the time you're just <laughs> playing it for the game. <laughs> but actually, I played visual novels and, and Otome games uh, a couple of times growing up, and I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I think it's because I grew up watching shitty, like, weeb content creators, like, playing video games, and I was like, sure, let me try mm -hmm. this. I think I played... Oh my god. Oh, uh, fuck. I, I don't remember any of them, but I have a couple of visual novels on my Steam that <gasps> I played. List them, list them, list them. Show me the goods, show me the goods. Uh, let me see if I can find it based on genre. <laughs> visual novel. Let me see what's in my library. <laughs> I have 89 visual novels. What? What? How okay, huge is your library? I have a lot. I, I, wait. Can you tell how many video games that you have? Wait, hold on. How many games are do I have on Steam? How many games do you have on Steam? I have 428 games in my library. So not that much. Uh, what? Uh, is that a lot? How much does the normal per how much does the average gamer have on Steam? I mean, I have a hundred and 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 eighty. To be fair. <laughs> Every like every month, I I buy like thirty new games, uh, and it's because of a stream that I do called Porcelain Potluck, where I play like three different indie games, one hour of each on stream to show people new video games based on a theme. So like I'll do Boomer Shooter, and then I'll play three different Boomer Shooter games, one hour of each, or I'll do puzzle games, and I'll play three one hour of diff three different puzzle games. Now I'll do it. All right, let me let me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the average amount is. Let me see visual novel again. Okay, I here's a, a fucking Ace Attorney is a visual novel. I forgot about that. But we're yep. looking for the weird ones. We're looking. Let me go all the way down. <laughs> we're looking for the freak stuff. <laughs> I played one called Was the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. 
Which sounds... I don't think I'm familiar. Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartending. Yeah. Everyone likes that one. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a good one. There was Sucker for Love was a recent one. Slay the Princess is peak. You should play Slay the Princess. Oh, yeah. I've heard people say that's really good. I think you would like Slay the Princess. Uh, it is a fantastic game. There's no, mm -hmm. there's like a, it's like apparently no endings. There's like, but there's like tons of endings. You mm -hmm. would like Slay the Princess. I think it's down your alley of visual novels that you would like. There's... I've, I've had it recommended to me multiple times. Good, I'll add to that recommendation. <laughs> Seduce me, Otome. Oh my god, I remember the Sakura video <laughs> games. The Sakura visual oh, yeah. novels. Yeah. Those were everywhere as a kid. Yeah. Uh, which sounds really awkward to say. Well, I think I think they were like some a lot of people's like first fucking uh, Nekopara too. Like edgy game probably. I I think either the Sakura games or like Nekopara were a lot of people's like first first yeah uh, um um lewd game. Oh boy. I think so. Oh, you, I guess these count. There are two games that I want to play because of my love of Millie. Uh, I want to play <laughs> Library of Ruina at some point. Oh! And mm -hmm. then Limbus Company. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh my god. Oh, here's one that I, I played for a little bit. I played one called Kara Kara when I was like 16, I think. <laughs> That's like, an, does that one sound familiar? I, hold on. If I my, don't... If it's what I'm thinking of, hold on. I played one called If My Heart Had Wings, where the main girl that you seduce is, like, in a wheelchair. And I, I, I have 3.6 hours on record with this game. And I remember I played it because my internet was out for three days, and I was just playing this constantly. <laughs> this is all you, all you had access to. It really was. Honey oh, Pop. this is not what I was thinking of. That's I'm not, not familiar. Was. Uh, Honey Pop. I remember when Honey Pop was everywhere. Well, Honey Pop was like a good hentai game. A lot. It is fun. It's very addicting. Oh, Fault Milestone 1. This one was cool. Mm -hmm. I played one hour of it for uh, a YouTube video. And like, oh. I actually kind of enjoyed it. That's an old one. <laughs> Dream Daddy. God. Dream Daddy. <laughs> Obviously, everyone's played Doki Doki. I think I had a couple others, but this was before I had a Steam account, and I was just downloading them, like, off rips. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's so weird to think about. Oh, my God. <laughs> the games that I played as a kid are so weird to think about now when I'm now that I'm older. Yeah. It's like, oh, my gosh. I sometimes, I think back to some of the shit I played, and I just have nightmares. I'm like, how did I, how, how did, did I, I sit through, through this? this? Yeah, yeah. How did I do this? I used to play like really obscure video games because I was like, this is the way to grow. Because content <laughs> brain, young, young yeah. Joel. And like, yeah. I went back to play them now because I'm like an adult and I could probably beat them easily. And it's like, oh my God. <laughs> I played a game called Time Umari as a kid. Mm -hmm. And it was like one of the fucking weirdest video games. It was like a little platformer that was kind of garbage. And I just, I was like, why was I playing this? <laughs> And then I go back and I find some of them are like really delightful. There was a video game called Rabby Reby. That was like, oh yeah, it was very good. It was very mm -hmm. competent. Never beat it though. And then I went back as an adult and I started playing it again. I was like, this is kind of fun. Like this is just a Metroidvania. This is kind of fun. This is fun. I like this. I had an opposite of that happen to me fairly recently. What was it? I recently played Wrath of Cortex, like Crash Bandicoot. Oh my, you played- On stream. You played a Crash I, Bandicoot game on stream? Yeah, I played it as an adult and could not beat it. Straight up. I just, I just couldn't beat it. <laughs> Those I games was just are too hard. bad. Those games are actually difficult though. I, I also have terrible, absolutely terrible depth perception. It's like a genuine issue. So I really struggle with platforming. Uh, uh, 42. Uh. <laughs> You're wrong. I was only holding up one. Uh. This is to chat, not to you. I like you. You're great. Oh. I was trying to give it a smooch as it went past oh, me. Here. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine flipping somebody off and they just like kiss your middle finger. They like, slowly, wah. slowly approach you, grab a hold of your hand, and just kiss your middle finger gently. That's some fucking Otome game shit. I can already tell. <laughs> I can tell what you've experienced growing up now. 
That is some actual Ultima game stuff. <laughs> no, then he would he would walk up to you like the hair the, the the lead girl is the one doing it right she's yeah, like yeah. i hate you and she flips him off and he walks up to her and He's grabs like, her hand my lady yeah I he like turns it around me. Yeah. if you, you hate get me, it I will you get continue it continue to hate me because i will always be there oh. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make an atomic game now <laughs> <laughs> we have to make one now Somebody is actually making a visual novel of me. Oh, <gasps> that's so cool! It's a, it's like a little one, one person project. It's pretty cute. Oh, that's so cool! I know, I know. I'm excited for it. I think, you know, I think Otome games or visual novels with VTubers would actually kind of bang. Oh, for sure. I think they would like be pretty good. Like if you could go, if you could try to date your Oshi in a visual novel. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. If given the opportunity, I wouldn't. I you wouldn't want to be in it, or you wouldn't date your Oshi in a visual novel? I wouldn't date my Oshi in, my, in a visual novel. I would not date my Oshi. And well, I think it'd be fun, because you know it's not weird. Because it's not serious, because it's a video game. But I guess it, if oh. there's a parasocial viewer, it might be more different. I just meant, like, I'm not worthy. <laughs> Nettie. I am, I am the parasocial viewer. <laughs> Oh my god, it's getting worse. It's getting... <laughs> my respect! My mature Oshi! No! My respectful and mature Oshi that I always watch in the morning, she's turning deranged! I'm learning too much about her! <laughs> Chad, we've lost her. We've lost her. We're losing her. <laughs> Slowly, I'm drifting away. Oh no. Nanny, Nanny, <laughs> come back. Come back. Where's the, wo the the cool, aloof wolf girl that I would watch all the time? Oh my gosh, she's, she's, she's always here for you. She's always been like this. I just never noticed. <laughs> she's it's always the meme been. of the... The the, the 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 space guy. So he's like holding a gun to his back. Is like always has been. <laughs> is that me? Is that me? She's always been parasocial. <laughs> yep, always has been. She's always been a weird parasocial little little pervert. <laughs> always has been. <laughs> I accept you for what you are. I accept you for what you are. And now that's true friendship, ain't oh. it? <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. I know you as a person are peak, so it's fine. <gasps> I accept you for any flaws that you may have. Oh my goodness. You are still peak. I'm, <laughs> I took off the rose colored glasses and I still appreciate Nettina. Aww. Look at her. we wife, Nettie wife, Nettie wife. Look at her doll. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's so. That's also true. I I met you back when I used to call people wife all the time as like a term of endearment. Oh. Because this was back when all VTubers would look at each other and be like, "We're married now. We're wife. Yeah. We're wives." Very, very, very 2021 core. I don't like see VTubers many, Yeah, I don't see anyone do that anymore. Nobody goes up yeah. and they're like, "Wife, wife, wife." Because it used to be all the all the time, and it's so weird mm -hmm. to think about that everyone was just like, "Yeah, that's what we're just gonna call each other." <laughs> I mean, I know like a couple of people that still do it, but it's very rare. I think so too. Yeah. Only her. Yeah. That one of the one of the few people that only still does it. I mean, like, I think a lot of people stop because people would take it too seriously, and it gets really yeah. annoying when you have people questioning your relationship with your friends in your chat, and it's just like, oh my god. Yes, I can be friends with people that are not the same gender. It's a it's a very big possibility, everyone. That I know it's kind of hard for you to think like that, but still, you can be friends with other people without it being a relationship. Boy and girl spend time together. Boy, girl, friend? No. Uh... No. No, 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 no. Impossible. Mm, it doesn't sound right. In, 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 boy, girl, no, no, no kiss. No. Impossible. Boy, they've they've talked for like five minutes. Why why aren't they why, why aren't, aren't they, they in love? Hands? Yeah. Why aren't What's they in love with each other? They, 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 they what the fuck? They can't What's, be what? friends. What's going on? This is this is this is wrong. Yeah. This is wrong. 
This is, this but, is, but this wait, it ain't right. Wait, boy, girl. But boy, girl. Boy, girl. Boy, girl. But, boy, but boy, girl. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we got so off topic. I forgot. We were talking about horror games and it just got more and more off topic as we went on. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's just vibes. It really is. It gets like that, huh? <laughs> you know what? I have a question for you. I was thinking about What's this earlier question? today. Uh, because I, I recently went to a con. I went to WeebCon. Yeah. And there was a maid cafe. And I was thinking about Ooh. it. I don't want this to be sounding weird. Uh-huh. Would you go to a maid cafe? Yeah. I feel like you would be the type that would be down to go to a maid cafe if somebody mm -hmm. asked you to. For sure. 100%. And that that is okay. There is no judgment from me. Oh. Could you sit through somebody going, doing like the Moe Moe Kyun? Would you be like, let's go, let's fucking go. This uh, maid is doing the dance for me. Yes. If the, uh, yeah, okay, yes. Again. As long as, as long as I don't have to no join difference. in. No, they, they make you do it, don't they? No, 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 they, no, they can't do it, then they can't do it. The maid cafes that you, when you go to a maid cafe and they do the little, the Moe Moe Kyun, you, they like, they're like, do it with me. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Moe, moe. Moe, I, moe. I, 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 <laughs> moe, moe. Do it, dirty dad. Moe, moe, cute. Cute. <laughs> Louder. Cute. We need to hear that cute. Moe, moe. Cute. Moe, moe. <laughs> That's what I thought. Now draw hard and catch up on that Oma rice. <laughs> Stop crying. Your tears are going to get in the food. <laughs> <laughs> Just spilling tears all over the omelette. <laughs> Made boot camp where you're forced to moe moe cune until the cringe comes out of you. I think okay, I I there, there's I mean there's no activity I like more than looking at cute <laughs> girls. I if I just got to look at the cute maid do the moi moi kya, I'm down. I'm so down. It's if so, they make I, me join in, no, it is over. Imagine you're a maid and you just like that's your job is to moi moi kyun and then like instead of the people joining with you, they just are staring at you while you do it. So you have to get over <gasps> the anxiety of somebody staring at you. I mean. They they have they, they must have customers like that that just refuse to do it and they well, have to like do it themselves. I'm sure if you're a maid at a maid cap. Sorry, I'm in front mm -hmm. of you. My bad. I'm sure if you're a maid at a maid. <laughs> I'm sure if you're a maid at a maid cafe, you have mm -hmm. to like be used to or you have to like like your job, right? Like yeah. You, the the only people that are doing that stuff are the people that like maids and that want to do that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine going into a job knowing I have to moi moi kyun all over somebody's ama rice, like, every day <laughs> without liking doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Moe moe kyun all over your fucking rice. Moe moe kyun. Ah, you did it! I think I have... That was cute. I, that was cute. I don't... No, no, no. I don't think I have the... I don't think I have the chops. <laughs> you have the charm. Ah... Uh, yeah, you're like the cool, um, cool collected maid. And then like you talk about certain things and, and then you like break down and like become the girl flop, girl flop. <laughs> I think, you know what? I think I've actually matched your personality really well there. I have to leave. I can't be here anymore. Nedine is the cool and collected waifu. And then like, as soon as you talk about something they're hyper fixated about, they become the girl flop, <laughs> like the, the girl flop. They're like, Oh my god, uh, horror games, up! It's not true! <laughs> you're, panicking. <laughs> you're panicking so hard. No! I didn't mean to call you out that hard, oh my god. It's not true. So cool not and true. collected from first impressions by everyone. They're like, wow, Nerine is so cool and mature. And then you bring out like the fucking Otome game from 2005 and then Nerine is like... <gasps> Is that male atelier number three? 
Get, no, uh, no fucking way. <laughs> How are you feeling? Do you feel called out? Are you, are you doing okay? You need, a, you need a rest? You need a break? We can take a break. I don't... Sorry, I don't... I don't think I know you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm not familiar. <laughs> here, drink some water. Drink some water. Drink some water. You'll be okay. Uh, uh, You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Just hydrate. 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 <laughs> Deep It's breaths. not true. I'm always cool and collected. Yeah? Yeah. Collar yeah, malice. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Hakuoki. No. No. I know. Oh my no. god. <laughs> no. I do not kick my feet and twirl my hair. I don't do all that. We don't do that here. Oh my god. <laughs> we don't do that here. Neddy Nez Peak. Neddy Nez Peak. This is your this is, this should be your this is your new Oshi chat. <laughs> what are you talking this about? This is your new Oshi. No, no, <laughs> you're just so you're you're so peak, bro. You're so peak. It's the gap moy that, that everyone loves. It's the gap moy that everyone loves. <laughs> you don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> starts crying why is he calling me peak what does based mean based on uh, what uh... <laughs> <laughs> what peak am i at who is he based on <laughs> <laughs> Why is he saying that I've riz? What does that mean? Do I smell bad? I will never be the Rizzler. You are the Rizzler. Why is it called a Rizzler? Um, I think it's a joke on the Dr. Seuss Lorax movie. Oh, the Onesler! Yeah, I think it's it, they're making they're calling the Onesler the Rizzler because it's like a tumbler. The... They're like the tumbler sexy man. Oh. So they're saying that he has Riz, I suppose. So they're like oh. sticking out your ass, aka the Giat. I, I'm gonna do this in the most analytical way possible because it's oh, so stupid. Please, please, please. So please. you're you're sticking out your Giat, which is your ass, oh. for. Uh -huh. Yes. The Rizzler. And the Rizzler is a combination of the Tumblr sexy man, the Onesler oh. from hit Dr. Seuss movie, The Lorax. Okay. Saying he has Riz says he has charisma, aka charm. Uh huh. Specifically in terms of charming somebody in a romantic sense or being seducing or seductive. Mm hmm. So when you they're saying stick out your ass for the Rizzler, they're staying mm -hmm. basically to you know, stick out your ass for the seduction, for the charmed person that you're talking to. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Do you get, do you get what put, I'm saying? Put on my glasses for this one. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get it. You get it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you stick out your gut for the Rizzler, uh, you yes? are accepting the seduction that is being placed on you by the temptress known as oh. the, the Rizzed one or the charming one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you understand now? I, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I might. I might have to see a, a demonstration. Could you? Could you stick out your gat, please? Is that is that possible? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm all. I'm all Victorian maid outfit. I don't think there's a gat to be had here. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're talking about how like big my fucking dress is, then I don't think there's a. I don't think there's anything here to stick out. <laughs> well, I mean. There is something to stick out. It's just it's 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 just under the dress. It's hidden. It's hidden. You can see my it's knee. Hidden. You can see my knees. My, That's scandalous. How I know how how seductive. I'm showing my knee joint to chat. You can see it bend. Oh, oh. There it is. There's my knee. You can like Whoa. get a little peek from the. My ankle is being spotted. How lewd! I'm such a harlot. <laughs> oh no. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Is that ankle that I spy? Duh, duh, uh. Okay, relax. Relax. <gasps> what are you doing over there? What is, what is going on here? What are you doing over Whoa! there? <laughs> Nothing. I'm learning more and more about you. <laughs> You've I'm gotten <laughs> closer to me than you ever than you ever wished to be in the span of a couple of hours. You know what? It's nice. It's nice. I'm glad I can <laughs> solidify 
what's the word? I can, I'm glad I can, we can consummate our friendship by getting to talk to each other more. Consummate? What does that mean? I think it means to like solidify, but I wanted to use oh. a bigger word, so I used the word consummate instead. You're so smart. I know. I like playing uh, vocabulary games. My English vocabulary is somewhat limited, so you play sometimes Scrabble? I, I don't. <laughs> I've not played Scrabble. Sometimes Do I don't know big to? words. How would we play Scrabble? There's is Discord there an Scrabble. online Scrabble? <gasps> what? Yeah, it's called Letter League. You oh. know the little Discord activities that nobody uses? Uh, oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm one of the people that, like, just like the motherfuckers that eat gas station food, I'm one of the people that does that. <laughs> so oh. I play the Discord activities, and one of them is Scrabble, and I've been playing it a lot with friends. Oh, I did not know that that was a thing. Mm -hmm. It's really good. That's crazy. I know. I'm one of the four people in the world that play Discord activity games. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Scrabble, dude. You know what? I actually do vocabulary quizzes for fun on stream. <gasps> Occasionally. I will do vocab quizzes on stream because I think it's fun. Look at you. Sorry. You're like, I'm getting fucking, I'm actually being seduced. Look at how cute Nettine is. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her little face. <laughs> oh my god you actually you had something to show me earlier and i was like crying of how cute it was oh, <laughs> oh my god it, you you brought me a little present for stream and i was like this is the cutest thing in the world if you want to change to it and show chat a little a little sneak let me let me change into something something more comfortable yeah, let, me, uh, let me slip into something a little bit more comfortable yeah thank you just, I'll, just, I'll just oh well i'm excited to see i'm excited to see Still something you know just something a bit more a bit more um fitting yeah yeah of course i can't wait i'm so excited to see what she's slipping into hopefully not a puddle <laughs> oh goodness gracious oh oh my oh my goodness golly goodness gracious oh me oh my oh my oh me no i don't want to pay child support no no Fuck, they found me! Okay. Now I gotta give like a fucking check of $2,500 to your mother. Fuck. <laughs> Papa? <laughs> Papa? <laughs> oh my god, no! Fuck. Oh my goodness. I just paid Father? taxes and now I have to pay more child support. Fuck me. Oh no. <laughs> No! Oh, at least you're cute. <laughs> it's so adorable. Look at you. Can I have? Can I have? Can I have? An, can I have? Can I have a Nintendo dogs? You, can you have, buy me Nintendo dogs? We have Nintendo dogs at home. Can I have more Nintendo dogs? What do you mean more? You were. It's one game. Can I, can I have? Can I have another Nintendo dogs? How many do you want? I, I want two more. What does that even? You can get them in the game. Can I, can I have two more? Play on the DS. Um, you can get more on your DS. We have Nintendo Dogs at home. But. Oh. I'll get you Spore Creature Creator. I don't. I, I don't. Uh, uh, don't cry. Fine, I'll buy you an Otome wanna. again. <gasps> Yay. <laughs> Want to get a milkshake? We'll get you a milkshake. <laughs> Please. Finally, I can have them again. You're gonna ah. go out with a new father and get a new milkshake. Oh my god! We're my gonna dream. fix your trauma. We're gonna get your. We're gonna fix your trauma. We're gonna solve it. <laughs> we're gonna resolve it slowly. Oh my god! You're gonna undo my milkshake trauma. We're gonna undo your milkshake trauma. I'm gonna get you a milkshake, and I'm not gonna yell at you. I'm gonna talk quietly <laughs> and softly. My dream. Do you like your milkshake? Enjoy your milkshake. Yippee. Aww. It's actually so cute. So chat, <laughs> before the stream started, uh, Nettie was like, I got you a little present and she changed the colors on her little chibi model to look like my dress. <laughs> and I was like, me. this is the cutest thing in the world. It's so adorable. <laughs> it's actually so cute. <laughs> look at you. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, it, it, zoom into the chat. Look, look at her little cheeks. Look at her little cheeks. Do you want to squish them? She's so cute. Oh my God. 
Honestly, <laughs> you do kind of look like a mini me, too, because you changed everything, like, really well to match all the colors. Yeah, because you're my dad. I, I came out of you. God damn it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, sure. That's what right. happened. Right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Where's your mother? <laughs> and, um... Off buying me more Nintendo dogs? Oh no! God damn it! <laughs> now I'm a single I father. <laughs> I need another copy. She left. She's not getting milk. She's getting more Nintendo dogs. Hello, single father looking for mother to raise child. Must be good at playing Nintendo dogs. Also, must be able to deal with overactive child that only wants to play video games all day and not have friends over. <laughs> <laughs> also, has to deal with child that doesn't eat food besides sliced cucumber and saltine crackers. Must be able yeah. to feed. Yeah. <laughs> Must be able to cook the most bland food on the planet. No, we're going to get you some flavor. You're going to get flavor and you're going to like it. We need you to enjoy flavor. You can't be like this for the rest of your life. You're going to be eating yes, saltine can. crackers and cucumbers for the rest of your life? Yeah. We need you to enjoy food. We want you to enjoy eating. No. No more chi What do you mean no? I don't want to. You can't just say no. <laughs> don't fucking sniff at me. <laughs> don't sniff and retort. <laughs> We're going to fix almost... that Northern European debuff. <laughs> I almost, I almost clicked my tongue at you. Chih. Chih. How dare you? We're going to get you food and you're going to eat it. We're going to get you a taco and you're going to taste seasoning for the first time in your life. What if it kills me? You're not going to die from getting a little bit of seasoning besides salt and pepper. Don't cry. Don't cry. Stop. I don't want it. Stop. I don't want it. You're going to enjoy it. It's going to taste good. You don't need to cry. <laughs> Stop it. It's going to be really tasty. You're going to get a nice birria taco. You dip it in the con beef consomme, and it's going to be like, wow, this is delicious. What if it burns my mouth? It's not going to burn your mouth. It's not spicy. It just has seasoning. No. Oh. Seasoning's good for growing girls. Ew, I don't like that sentence. I don't know why I didn't <laughs> like that sentence, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that sentence, Chad. I, I don't like what I just read. We gotta, we gotta put that that, that one back in. Well, uh, put that one back in the oven. We need to cook that one a little bit more. That one was not ready. No, it was not. It's okay. You know what? What's a, what's a good food that we can feed Nettina that's not gonna freak her out? Please give me something very bland. It's not. No, it's not gonna be bland, but it's not gonna be spicy either. That way, you can enjoy seasoning. Please give me something Yeah, maybe very Italian bland. food. That has taste to it. That has seasoning to it, and it's not spicy. Hmm. Give Nettina a PB&J. Do you want a PB&J? I've had a PB&J, and I didn't like it. What kind of... Why? Because the peanut butter was gross. Was it from Japan? No. Where's the peanut butter from? I don't know. There you go. But it I didn't wasn't like it. peanut butter. Oh... Is there a specific one you have to use for PB&Js? No, mo well, um, all American peanut butter is basically the same, but I've noticed that peanut butter outside of America is weird and tastes weird. Oh. So if your peanut butter wasn't from America, it probably was made improperly. Ah, uh, I to mean, be that might have been peanut it. butter, not crunchy. It, w it was smooth. It was not crunchy. Good. We'll make you one. But that you I don't like. think I don't think it was I don't think it was American. If it wasn't American, then I don't trust the branding. Oh. They probably made it with like weird things. No sugar, no 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 butter. Pathetic. <laughs> they need to what be is proper. A witch's brew? What do you it What is. kind of peanut butter are you eating? Well, most things made in America are basically a witch's brew if you look at the ingredient <laughs> list. <laughs> it's pretty much all of American food. The more chemicals, the better the taste, and the longer we live. True. Oh, 
Yo, Dark Sheiky, thank you for the raid. Welcome to the stream, Raiders. My name is Poistolin Maid. I used to be a sexy sack of man meat before I died, and my soul got trapped inside the body of a sexier female doll. Hey, and pronouns, but if you're still confused about pronouns in the 21st century, you can think of me as a bisexual's wet dream. Sexy male voice trapped inside of a sexier female doll. I give you a curtsy out of courtesy, because oh, I'm elegant to talk uh, like that. Don't worry, I moved out of the way. And Raiders, you know if you follow the stream, you can gain three extra inches of your dick size from here to here. This is my child. This is Nadine. It's bring your daughter to work day. Isn't she cute? Why? Why are you? Why are you like a foot tall? So, this is how tall I am. What do you mean? You're like third. You're not. You're like twelve inches tall. This is how tall I am. Don't don't make fun. You're so cute. You're such a little baby. This is how tall I am. Stop. I'm don't... I'm literally just gonna call you cute for the rest of the stream. Don't do this to me. I'm very Duh. weak. I have cuteness aggression issues. <laughs> I can't look at you. I can't look at you. Melon Lord, thank you for the gifted sub, and thank you for the or thank you for the five, the six gifted seven gifted subs. You have a big dick, a big heart, even bigger wallet. I can't look at you. You're too cute. Stop. I can't look. I can't. I'm weak to little guys. I'm weak to little guys. I'm just a little, a little friend. I can't. I can't. I, be kind to her. She only had one slice of cucumber today. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is my, this is my daughter. Say hi. Hi. This is Nerine. Uh the mother don't ask about the mother she's gone i'm a single father raising a single child and uh it, we would really appreciate a donation she's been wanting nintendo dogs lately but work's been tough and uh i have to pay taxes so if we could get five gifted subs in the chat i'll be able to afford nintendo dogs for my little guy don't you want her to be able to afford nintendo dogs Please, I need a new stylus because I chewed too much on my old one. Oh, dude, don't start with me on that. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times I've like bitten pencils in school or styluses is fucking. <laughs> I, you know what it is? I don't know why. I've been saying this for a while. I want like human chew toys. I think, because I'm a big gum advocate, but all gum is sweet or mint flavored, right? I'm not oh, a big fan of that. Mm -hmm. I want something savory flavored that I can chew. Or like, Surely there's some gum out there like that. There's no savory gum. I've tried. There, I've Aww. never seen a savory gum before. There is that one. Um, I forget the name of it. It's like cinnamon, so it's really spicy. I, it's not the same thing. I've had cinnamon, uh... but cinnamon always is related to sweet things in my head. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the five. Melon Lord, thank you for the ten. Big love. You guys have a big dick, a big heart, even bigger. Well, thank you so much. I will put this money towards buying Nerdy Net Nintendo Dogs. <laughs> Please. The Nintendo Dogs? The, the Nintendo Dogs fund. I'm sorry. You look too cute. Can you change models? This is distracting me. <gasps> Why? You're too. It's like too cute. I'm getting cuteness aggression. I'm just a little fella. I can't focus. It's actually like too adorable. I just want to like pinch it. Look at you! Ah! Fuck! Ugh! I need to punch a wall. I need to punch a wall. I need to like get my aggression out. I need to get my cutest aggression out. <laughs> this isn't fair. This isn't fair. It's the combination of the model and her. Because Nedina, if you watch her streams, is just a cute little guy. So add that add that, and add the model on top of it. And it's like, what the fuck? Look, do, you like my little, do, you like, do you like my little steppies? Yeah, your little dance. It's really cute. Look at you. <laughs> That's so adorable. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two can play at this game. Waha! Yippee! Two can play at this game. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yippee! You got you got scrungled. I'm also yeah. I'm a little scrungly. Oh, we're so cute! Yay! Yo, what the fuck, 
This is currently the cutest available stream on Twitch.tv. I'm scuffed. You're cute. I'm a little scuffy. <laughs> scuffy. That's what chat likes He's to call so it. Cute. They like to call scuff. They call it scuff Joel or little scuff doll. You're so cute. I'm, I'm on the floor ah, now. Cute. Look, chat's looking at you too. Look. It's so cute. Yay. How does it feel? How does it feel? Now the cuteness uh, aggression is on you. It feels very pleasant, actually. I love cute things. I also like I cute win. things, but it makes me angry. <laughs> <laughs> make me, they make me aggressive. I'm like, why are you so fucking cute? I hate this. <laughs> I hate it. Look at you. you, you, you. <laughs> I have more. I have uh, one of my nun outfits, too. Oh. God, this just makes me want to commission a mochi. Fuck. <laughs> That's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. Plug for it? almost you. I really should. Oh shit! Jesus Christ! Is it this it one? It does make me pretty consistently over like my 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 years of streaming with my model. I do get people still that come in and they're like, "I love your model," and each time I'm like, "Right!" Well, so I'm so happy when I get to talk about genuinely. Mama. Well, your model is very. Ooh, I fucked this up. Your model is genuinely uh, gorgeous. Oh, so cute! And it fits you very well. Which, <gasps> that makes know, me happy. Yeah, it's really fucking cool. I don't know. You, oh, it, so cool. I'm like cut off. Hold on. Help! Help! <laughs> there we go. There we go. I fixed it. I'm alive. It's so cool. I'm a little puppet. I'm a little doll. I'm like wiggling around. Wait, this could be your hand. Hold on. Oh, yeah! <gasps> wow! Help! Ha ha ha! Help! Ha ha ha! She has made a spell! Help! She's one of the Twitches! The Twin Witches! I'm gonna use your credit card and I'm gonna buy so many Nintendo no! games! Sharon's. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna this... go bankrupt because I'm gonna buy too many Nintendo Dogs games. I like that you specifically latched onto Nintendo Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I was talking about it. I was just reminded of how fun Nintendo Dogs is. Well, I, oh my god, dude. I never understood it because my like my dog would always lose every competition they were in because I didn't understand how to play the game. <laughs> Like I, was I don't think I did either. I, was like, Fuck. I don't think I fully did either, but I think partially the issue for me also was that I just didn't know enough English. Is English not your first language? Is that oh my new? Goodness. Is that new? Have you never it's, said that before? It's it's not my first language. No, no, I've been i I'm pretty I'm pretty upfront oh. about it. I think I have an accent. I don't really hear it. I feel like you're pretty oh. fluent. Because oh. I know you know Japanese, but I like I thought you yeah. learned both of those languages. I, I learned English and I learned Japanese. What? Wait, how many languages do you know? Um, I mean that I feel comfortable speaking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you feel comfortable sharing too. Oh, yeah, for sure. There's no problem. My first language is Swedish because I'm from Sweden. Oh, my God. Now I understand why you can't have spicy food. <laughs> Swedish, mm -hmm. Japanese, and English is insane. And then, I mean, I took like German fluent. in you school. Sound fluent. Oh my goodness, thank you. I mean, you've been speaking it for like how many years now? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. I feel like I bet you should. I mean, you fucking, of course you sound it when you also do English speaking streams for so long <laughs> now. Yeah. That's so impressive. It's. The, okay, there's a really interesting, interesting phenomena where, like, usually people that are not American, they mm -hmm. think I'm American. But every American can, like, they can tell that I'm not American by my English, but they're always like, I can tell you're not from here, but I can't tell where you're from. Really? I... <laughs> yeah. I never thought about it because I thought... I mean, I knew you were speaking English. I never thought you were American. I, I thought you were... 
I, I knew you were some kind of European. I never thought you were American. Mm. Just yeah. because you didn't radiate the uh, American vibes. <laughs> I don't have the American spirit. I feel like Americans have a very distinct American vibe. Does that make sense? Not to me, but I'm not American, so what do I know? <laughs> I I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like I can I can tell when somebody's American, but at the same time, mm. I also fucked up because I thought a bunch of my friends that were Canadian were American, so, you know. Oh. Yeah, I can Some... see Canadian from you. That, that, okay, so that's the interesting thing. Usually, Americans think I'm Canadian. It's because you're polite. It's because you're a nice little guy and you speak English, so immediately guess Canadian. Because ain't no uh, British person's gonna sound nice, and ain't no American gonna sound that nice. Oi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, Chav. Got some oh. Greg sausage rolls and yeah. Whoa, I'm from uh, the UK, in it. <laughs> I'm sorry to any anyone from the UK. It's okay. They went to bed by now. Oh yeah, true. They're fine. They won't see this until the VOD, and they won't be able to say anything. <laughs> They're gonna have to complain about it in the fucking VOD comment section. <laughs> You know, she was a... she was so insensitive for this. Get How her. could she? I don't think anyone. Would, I don't think anyone should uh, would ever be mean to you. You're like, you're not. You're just a very <laughs> nice person. I don't. I mean, not everyone's gonna get along with everyone, and that's just natural. Not everyone's gonna like me. You know. I like you. I like you too. <gasps> I'm gonna make us dinner tonight, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make some tortellini, and I'm gonna you're gonna eat some tortellini. <gasps> you complimented me, therefore I will make you food. Oh my goodness gracious, tortellini. You're gonna get some lemon and cheese tortellini, and you're gonna enjoy it, and it's gonna be really good. Because you cooked it for me, I would eat it. I I actually do want to see. I want to make you food that isn't going to... That is actually seasoned. Because I, I know you're joking about liking bland food, but at the same time, I, mm -hmm. feel, I'm, I'm like, I feel like it's a half joke. Definitely, de definitely, definitely joking. Nanny? Definitely. Homie? Definitely joking about just liking bland food. Bro? Um, for sure, just a joke. Please tell me you like a season a little bit. Well, I guess... You're eating canned food and saltines and then a cucumber. Do you, have you ever cooked for yourself? Oh, yeah. I cook for myself because I'm a picky eater, but okay. the extent of what I cook is just like fried rice. That is seasoning in it. Uh, a little bit. What are you seasoning it with? What are you seasoning your fried, your fried rice with? Neddy <laughs> nay. A little, a Nettie. little soy, a, a little soy sauce. Nah, wee, 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 wee. A little soy sauce. Okay, that's mainly just salt and like vinegar, I think. But it's, I only soy sauce. What do you mean only soy sauce? That's that's, that's all no I see. No garlic. <laughs> no. No, nothing, nothing else. I explain. Okay, make make a fried rice for me right now. How would you make it? You put in the rice. Okay. And then you put in your veggie. You put in the you put in the the peas and the carrot and the 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 whatever else you got. You got some green onion in there. Ooh, yummy, delicious. And then you Honey. stir it all around, and then you put some soy sauce on it, and then you eat it. Uh -huh. Honey, that's not seasoning. Ooh, but it's ooh, delicious not, soy sauce. That's no, no. Stop trying to mesmerize people by dancing. Wow. You're not gonna hypnotize my chat into thinking that's normal. Stop it. <gasps> soy sauce is so yummy. You're not a, stop. You're sounding like an NPC stream. Ooh. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So yummy. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Soy sauce. So yum. <laughs> Fried wow, rice, wow, fried wow. rice. Wow, wow, wow. Soy sauce, so yum. <laughs> <laughs> no garlic and no eggs in a fried rice. Oh. Uh, no egg? Eh. No egg. It's That's not fried rice then. 
I don't like egg. Fried rice specifically needs egg. Says you. Says most recipes. Says you. Says. Says not me. Have you tried anything else? Have you had regular fried rice? I can't tell if you don't like you've never had it before. I have, but I picked out the egg. Why? Do you not like egg? No. Okay, what do you like? You sounded like you sound like such a fucking brat. No. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like egg. No. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm a very picky eater, that's why. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me the things that you like. What food do you like? Vegetables. Okay. That's good. We can work with vegetables. You can steam a lot of vegetables and just, you know, you can have them pretty much by themselves. It's not bad. <laughs> you can have like some salt or pepper on a vegetable. No, don't steam them. Then they turn mushy. How long are you steaming them for? I, uh, I don't, I don't steam them. If they turn mushy, then you're not steaming it right. They're not supposed to be mushy. Uh... You I don't think I know. I don't think I know how to, to steam. Like, to, no, no, no. You, like if you steam broccoli, it only turns mushy if you steam it for like way too long. You're just doing it enough to get the color in the vegetable again. How long who are, are you steaming? Who are you, for? the steam police? <laughs> yes, I'm trying to make you eat better food. <laughs> I want to enrich your life by having food that tastes good because I, you are my friend and I want you to have a happy life with happy food. <laughs> I want you to enjoy food more than eating bland food. <laughs> you got, okay, okay. You put a little bit of water in, like literally how to steam things. You put it in the pan, you put a little bit, you put the vegetable in the pan and you put a little bit of water in the pan and then you cover it. And then you steam it for like three to four minutes and then boom, it's done. You don't need to steam that long. And then you can just put salt, you can put butter, you can put whatever on the broccoli and it'll taste really good. But I can just have it raw. I mean, yes, you could have it raw, but it tastes better the other way when you cook it. See, it sounds like a gamble. It's not a gamble. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like a gamble. I don't know if I trust all that. Time you cook, I will instruct you on how to make the food. Uh, oh, you could like ratatouille me. I will like... ratatouille the food for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like grab each ear and I'll like instruct you on how to fucking cook the food. <gasps> Finally, I can have proper, proper steamed veggies. <laughs> Okay, okay. Other than that, there's also you can you can have Brussels sprout. You can roast some Brussels sprouts. And roasted you, veggies are very good. I yeah. do like roasted veggies. And there's lots of different meals that you can do with veggies too. Like you can have an edamame bowl. Do you like edamame? I do like edamame. So you'll put you'll like cook some rice and then you'll put different things in the rice and you'll use ginger, which is a seasoning, so we'll teach you how to grate ginger. You mix the rice with ginger, you put the edamame on top, and there's a, a bunch of different things. There's like a soy sauce, there's like hoisin sauce, uh, and there's like ponzu sauce that you kind of mix together, and you mix it with the rice, and then the, you put the edamame, edamame on it, and then you have a bunch of different vegetables on the top. And it's just like a, nice, a little edamame rice bowl, and it's really nice, and you'd probably like that. There's no meat in it, so you can enjoy that. As long as there's no meat in it, I will at least try it. There. Do you not like meat? Um, it's mainly the texture of meat that mm. I can't deal with. I I feel that. A lot of the meat that I don't like is a weird mm. texture, but I like beef jerky. Beef jerky is okay, but I still, I don't know. On some days, I just can't have it. If I'm having like a bad icky texture day, I just can't have it. That's fine. I mean, I don't like steak for the same reason is because I don't like the texture a lot of the time. Mm, and I, think the taste I can't do is, steak. Uh, yeah, I don't like the texture and I don't like the um, the taste a lot of the time. It's very one note. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I mean, there's things like brisket that taste really good without fat. No um. fat. No fat. Lean brisket is good. When did Joel oh, have a I... child? Oh, um, today. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday okay, to go me. Ahead. Go ahead. I have a I have a story that um that that I usually tell 
my chat. Okay. About how I used to order hot dogs. Oh, really? D I didn't know you liked hot dogs. I like well, hot dogs too. <laughs> wow. Well. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. <laughs> no wonder you had me. Jeez. What the fuck? <sighs> <sighs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Before this gets weirder. Um, <laughs> I. 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 Okay. As a kid, mm -hmm. I was. Um. um <laughs> I had this habit of going up to hot dog stands and I would always order a hot dog, but without the hot dog. Okay. Because I don't like hot dog. So So you ordered just a bun without the yes. dog. Yes. Wait, so you just ate bread? Yeah. That was that Man, was how I would eat hot honey, dogs. What the fuck? That's how I would eat hot dogs. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not a story. That's an atrocity. <laughs> that was how I would order hot dogs. Hot dogs have a good texture too. No, 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 no. They do not. What hot dogs are you eating? You bite into a hot dog and the skin goes like, that's a nightmare. Nightmare. You can buy the caseless ones. What's that? They don't have the skin. Oh, hot dogs how, how, does are... it, how does it stay together? Uh, it's, it's cooked together like that. Oh, it just sticks like that? Yeah, you, you like how people make burger patties. Skin. <gasps> oh, I see. Yeah, so when you make, you know how you make a burger, where, it, where you take the ground meat and you like push it into a patty and then you just cook it like that. That's how it stays the uh -huh. shape. Oh, this looks so beef. strange. Oh, I see. Yeah. It looks very different when it doesn't have the, the I, skin. I really want to cook you food. I'm so sad hearing it. Hearing you talk about food makes me so sad and it makes me feel like I need to like... You're like... the. F you know what it is? It's like the flavor princess is locked away in the tower and it's being <laughs> guarded by like an evil uh, Swedish dragon that won't let her leave. We need to save Nerine's taste buds. They're I have the... Away. I have the palate of a small Victorian child. I have a... Don't talk to me about small Victorian child. Look at me. <laughs> True. I have a mighty need to feed this little thing, this little creature. We need to feed this little creature food. Look at her. She's starving. She's never had proper meals in her entire life. <laughs> I mean, there's so many things that we could cook for you that won't taste bad. I mean, there's a lot of... I, I eat a lot of vegan meals. Like, I have... A, there's a... I have this vegan um, uh, Thai coconut curry. Mm -hmm. And it's basically ginger and rice, which you'll notice that a lot um, that mm -hmm. I have. Ginger, rice, and maybe cilantro mixed together. Then the actual curry is coconut milk, uh, Thai chili sauce, um, not spicy. Don't freak out. It's Thai chili sauce, coconut milk, curry powder, and uh, garlic, and a few other things mixed together. And then you, I, you dice snap peas or green beans, and you could also put potatoes with it, and then put that in the curry, and there you go. That does sound yummy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there are so many good foods out there that don't have meat in them that you can enjoy too, so you don't have to eat bland food. But... Mm -hmm. What? What, are you, what excuse are you going to give? You can't say no that, come on. You just said it sounds yummy. Nedine, please, I just want you to live a, help, a happy, healthy life. <laughs> I just want you to be healthy. I want you to enjoy food. Don't look so silent over there. I I I eat my vitamins. It's not food. You're just eating the base to stay alive. That's not the same thing. I I you need more I, than that. I don't know about that. Okay. Level with me, okay? Come here. I'm going to I'm, oh. I'm I'm on my knee. I'm on my knees. I'm at uh -huh. eye level for you, okay? Uh -huh. I'm I'm going to give you a recipe. 
Oh. I just, I want you to, for me, I will, I will even pay for the food. I will give you the money to buy the food. I just want you to cook this for yourself. I am begging you to please eat good food. I will give you the recipe. I will give you the step-by-step -step way to make this curry. Or maybe even the, the edamame rice bowl. I will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make it. And I will give you the money to buy the food. I just want you to eat something that isn't saltine crackers and half a can of chili. Please? I will... I will accept the money. I will see it transferred to my bank account. Okay, and I will good. use the money. And okay. I will go buy myself Nintendo. No! No! Okay, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. We got him. Look Fel at me. What? I huh? give you the money to buy Nintendogs, and I give you the money huh? to buy the food. Then you go out, and you buy the ingredients to the food, and you cook the food and eat it the way I tell you to. That way you can enjoy flavored food without bland food anymore. I can buy several copies of Nintendogs. You only need one copy of Nintendogs. You cannot play on more than one. says you no 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 that's not no says the conglomerate of nintendo look at me look at me look me in the eyes look me in the eyes don't don't home f look me in the eyes you're being a little little brat come look me in the eyes You're gonna eat good food. You're gonna eat good food and you're gonna enjoy the food and you're gonna have a new whole world open up to you. And you're gonna really enjoy it. And then you can play Nintendogs. Okay, wait, I have one condition. Okay. What if I finish cooking the food? Okay. And then then I sit down at, 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 at my table. Okay. And then, before I can actually eat it, you have to come over, and you have to moi moi cue my food. I'll fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cringe afterwards, but anything to get you to eat your food, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's go! I'll fucking moi moi cue all over any food, just I just need you to eat something that isn't fucking saltine crackers and half a slice of cucumber. Let's go! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Then a single father grows up with child that demands that they moi moi kune their food every time so they can eat and grow big and strong. I need it, Papa. I crave the moi moi kune. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking die of old age, and then Nettina is gonna go. <laughs> the only way Nettina can eat food is if she goes to maid cafes, paying absorbent <laughs> prices just for somebody to moi moi kune their food. I need it, please. I need my oh fix. Oh my god. <laughs> I right, go back to your old model. I can't stand looking at the child model anymore. <laughs> You're such a little baby. Get the little chibi out of here. Look at you. Well. It's, it's time it's, it's, it's time to go home. It's actually so cute. Oh my god. I'm actually, <laughs> it made me really happy that you did that. That was really cute. I'm, I'm happy that you were you were really excited to come by. That you made little chibi model have the same colors. <laughs> that was really sweet of you. That's really cute. They can't see you. <laughs> there you oh. go. The little peak. <laughs> I mean, we can keep using the chibi model. It's whatever you want. I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back. Whatever people want to see. I, I went for the main model because that's what people will see when they watch your streams. But if you use both of them, that's fine. Oh, I mean, I do use both of them, but I can go back to big size. Big size, Nettie Nay. Big size. I'm tailless, though. Watch out. I'm, I'm, I'm naked. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. No, it's the Extend. same thing. If I don't have my bonnet on, I feel I feel gross. I feel naked. You feel so naked. I mean, I can I can take my jacket off too, but I just I look so naked without it. But it's so it's so weird. It's like it's I know, something. I you know. get the feeling that something is missing. It's weird. I know. I know. It's like having a hat hair. That's what it is. It's like when you wear uh, a cap all day and your hair gets flattened. That's what it looks like.
It's so... It I looks mean, like my hair got flattened by not wearing the bonnet. I mean, you, Chat, you, you stop have... stop yelling bald! I'm not bald! <laughs> Do not call me bald! You can, yeah, you look bald now, too. I mean, like, there's just, there's just something, there's just something missing. I think it's because of your you know? hand pose. Because your hands don't move. Oh, yeah, that too, yeah. Because, like... Uh, my hands move back and forth. You got forth. The, the flop, yeah. I do. I, it's the little floppiness of it. Yeah. But because you're standing like that, it, there we go. And well, it's because you don't see. You look so cute with your big ass jacket. Aw. <laughs> I love that you always do the pog face when you're like looking at somebody. It's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Okay, I don't look bald when I have the bob cut on, though. So if I do this, there we go. Now it looks normal. Oh. Because it's a little messy at the top. But because on the regular hair, it's not messy. It looks bald. You see what I mean? That's character I still, design. I do like how it looks, though, even even without it with the long hair. But it is truly, like, something just does feel like it's missing. It's because it's not messy at the top. It's not ruffled. Because Crazy. it's so, like, straight at the top, it looks weird. But on the mm. bob cut, it's fine. Get that shit back on. There we go. <laughs> I don't want to look bald forever. Oh my god. It's not bald, it's just smooth. Yeah, that's what I say when I don't have hair either. It's I'm not oh bald, god. I'm just smooth headed. <laughs> oh wait, if you're going bob cut, I'll go bob cut. There we go. Oh, matching? Whoa, wait, what whoa, whoa, where did this come from? Whoa. <gasps> Whoops. Crazy. Yeah, there we go. Ignore that, please. That was never there. Never there. It's so cute, though. God, I can't believe we had a whole, like, what was that? An hour of just, bait, like, me trying to force you to get food that tastes good. <laughs> oh, my God. This all stemmed from the maid cafe and idol talk. Oh, my God. True. I love how the tangents are going so far. They're going fucking crazy out of nowhere. And now you owe me uh, a Moi Moi Kim, which I will not forget about. Okay, call me when I... Okay, you know what? I w After this stream is over, I'm going to send you a recipe. And I'm not joking. <gasps> I will actually send you this. I'm not taking no for an. I will send you a recipe and I will send you money. I will put it in your PayPal. I know where your donation button is. I will send you money and I will send you a recipe card, okay? And I want you to cook this food. And when you make it, you can call me. I will fuck it. You can record it. I don't give a shit. I will moe moe kyun on the food. Because I want you to eat something that is not bland. I want you to eat good food. I worry about you. I want you to eat good food. I'll just hold my... I'll, just, I'll hold, like, Discord, my phone, and I'll hold Discord over... Yes! ...over the curry, and you can buy my kid. I will, I'm not fucking around. I'll do it. I want you to eat good food. <laughs> I really do. I truly do. I don't want you to fucking live with, like, bland food for the rest of your life. Oh, my goodness. I, f I feel so cared for. <laughs> It's because I've, I, it, you know, it, this is what happens when you get into Otome's from a young age. You turn into, you turn into like the the girl flop, and we care. We have to care for our girl flop homies. You have to water them and and treat them nicely. To treat your girl flop friend. You need to water them every day. You need to mm -hmm. cook them proper food, and you need to give them mm -hmm. a blanket so they can enjoy their lovely Otome games without slowly breaking down from the cold. Yes. Take care of your girl flops, no matter how cool and collected they seem on the outside. On the inside, uh, you know how they are. <laughs> you know the truth. They break apart when they see hot fictional women. <laughs> you know the truth of the gap, Moe. <laughs> I love how unique your game taste is. You're so indie based, uh, <laughs> like horror games and then uh, visual novels and then like RPGs. It, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's very like <laughs> I grew up loving like uh, anime and a lot of JRPG stuff. So this yeah. is what turned me into it. Absolutely. What made you yes, want to get I into VTubing in the first place, too? Because yeah, I, I imagine it's seeing... from the games, right? Like you got into these games and then you kind of saw VTubers from it. Sort of. It's also like I don't know the I I was really interested. This is like massive throwback before i started vtubing i was really interested in just like live 2d like as a program oh like art per art side of things right 
yeah when people were because i saw videos of people um a lot of tutorials and stuff of people like animating their artwork and stuff in live 2d and i was like that's so cool what a Had cool program art before this too um not only traditional not digital i would like to see some in the future <laughs> so cute i would like I to have see some, some. I have some, I have some, some, uh, some paintings that I have, like, on, on my walls. Yo, really? Okay. Yeah. Send me, send me pictures later. <laughs> I, I want to see them. I will. I will. I, I, I only did, um, traditional art. I never did digital art. I started doing digital art in, like, 20... Can I guess what you started out drawing? Oh, yeah. There's only two things that people start out drawing. Or three uh, things. Yes. Dragons, anime girls, or wolves? Which one? Uh huh. Which one was it? Which one did you start drawing? Ha. Huh. Was it anime girls? Which, which one could it be? Wolves. Definitely. Wolves. Wolves. <laughs> wolves. So it was one of the three. It's always dragons, anime girls, or wolves. That's the only three <laughs> things that people start drawing with. It was know why it's so like that, but everyone has that. It was absolutely like animals, which very quickly transitioned into anime girls. One hundred percent. But yeah, you saw it from an art perspective, right? Oh yeah, so that got me interested in live two D, and then I didn't even know what VTubers were. Mm -hmm. And then I mean, I had the same thing. Like I was exposed to to it in the same way that like everyone else was which is like through keys and i initially where it was like oh this is like a concept a virtual youtuber what the whoa and you know and then it hooked itself onto everybody well i saw a lot of mainstream stuff and then eventually i was like huh this seems like a really cool way for me to be because i i've never Were liked the idea of that? yeah i've never liked the idea of face cam because I don't like being on camera. Um, it's not nice to have people staring at you the entire time. It just, it just, it makes me, I just, I don't, I really don't like being on camera. Yeah. And that's fair. Um, it's just, this was like a middle ground where I was like, this lets me be expressive. This lets me do something unique and cool and fun. And I mean, I love anime stuff. I love anime junk. I'm not gonna hide that. We know that. <laughs> Yeah, like we had a whole I am, discussion am, about this. Yeah, we I am. If I can, <laughs> if I can be an anime girl, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that path. Are you kidding me? It's, it's adorable. Um, so this was like a nice middle ground where it was like, this is a way for me to be expressive. I hey, through you really through well stream. <gasps> That's so nice of you to say thank you. As soon as I saw, really, as soon as I saw um Omochi's art, I was like. This, this is, is the you. one. Yeah. yeah, I was like, this is this is the one. <laughs> That's really cute. I mean, it, as soon as I saw it, I think everyone in chat now that they know you a little better can agree that like this model fits you very well. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Which dude. is funny as fuck because I'm like almost the opposite of that. <laughs> but like, are you though? Well, the the idea uh, behind this because I also got into VTubing from an art perspective because um, mm -hmm. I was an artist and I was doing art streams and mm -hmm. I saw another artist using a Vroid model and ah. it made me want to make my own Vroid model because I learned how easy it was to get into the texturing and uh -huh. how to make it like on Vroid because it, ma it made it very easy and it was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but going through that, when I made it, I was just doing it as an art project to see how I could, because it, it was, I was drawing one of my OCs, which is the doll that you see right now. Mm. Uh, so I did that, and I started doing it from there. I started VTubing from there, because I learned that I could use the model of a V-Draw. So I would do that with yeah. my drawing streams. Um, but also, I kind of get what people say, because as I was streaming more, I kind of did realize that... I, whenever I drew a character, I made them very like stoic and monotone looking because mm -hmm. that's what I thought of as like pretty. I thought that was like that was the ideal that I wanted to be was stoic and very like cool looking a lot of the time, uh, yeah. way, which is kind of crazy to think about now. But like I also feel like that a lot of the times because as I was growing up, I would get told that I have like a very I have very stoic emotions. I look very, mm. very resting bitch face, kind of. Yeah. Oh, I got wow, that so a here. lot growing up. Yeah. Um, and I never really talked that much growing up, too. So I mm -hmm. was like, oh, a doll kind of fits with the vibes that I'm going for, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't even on purpose. It wasn't planned or anything like that. It just kind of came out that way. 
Uh, it's so, I think genuinely what you have going on, I, it, I genuinely, it's so smart. <laughs> Man and female model. I feel like there's a couple Gen of people that Well, do that, it's though. just like, it, it's the, it's the, it's the juxtaposition of like this <laughs> affectionately like loud mouth sort of person <laughs> in, in this, this, uh, this beautiful beautiful doll woman affectionately loud mouth <laughs> listen loud it's a good male thing male affectionate <laughs> <laughs> i meant it in a good way did you hear that shit my voice dropped an octave again and i don't know why it's doing it i'm oh going through, i'm going through like a second puberty i don't know what's happening um it's because you're you're working out for when we're gonna make our otome game you're right you're right that's what it mm -hmm. i have to talk i have to get an octave lower for an otome yep. game Yep. <clears throat> what? Okay, wait. The real question is, if you were in like an Otome game yeah. and you got to play one of the one of the romanceable guys, what type of character would you want to be? Uh I think I'd either Would be... you would you want to be like it's the stoic one since you said that? I'd think I'd either be flamboyant evil bastard or oh. uh or the stoic one. Like the the uh... pride stoic one. Uh -huh. I think mean, I could do either or because those are kind of my two personalities. I think so too. I, when I talk to a lot of people and I'm not streaming or I'm not doing any kind of content, I mm -hmm. kind of sound like quiet stoic person. But uh -huh. when I'm like streaming, I sound like a smug asshole. So like, it's one or the other. I see. I, I could see you pulling off both of either one of them very well. <laughs> I'm going full smug asshole. Let's fucking go. <laughs> The mother you flip off the person and then they kiss the middle finger. That's that's gonna be the smug <laughs> asshole one. He's gonna he he's gonna grab um your hand all the time and he's also gonna call you kitten. Oh no! <laughs> no God, I forgot that some Otome games actually do stuff like that. God. Absolutely. I don't think you could ever recover ever since the fucking Discord kitten debacle. I don't think I don't. Oh I don't yeah, think that's true. Otome games will ever recover the whole kitten usage thing. I don't have the. I don't know. Because I'm, I, yeah, but that's the thing. <laughs> oh, I have God. the connection of like Kanekotan, so I don't. When I hear kitten, my brain doesn't go to like Discord kitten. But I understand how the term is like ruined. Yeah, it's uh, the same thing with Milady. I hear a knight yeah. say that, and the fucking when I'm reading my webtoons, my <laughs> manga, and then I'm like, okay, yeah. well, that guy's officially gone for me. That I can't uh, use that one anymore. Milady. Milady. <laughs> my my lady is better than my lady. Oh, for a hundred percent. My lady is nice. Yeah. I like ma'am. Uh, I know not everyone agrees with me. Madame, ma'am, those are both like pretty nice. But I know some people oh, yeah, don't like yeah, ma'am. Yeah. I think I it's don't, polite. I, I don't think mind, it sounds nice. I, yeah, I, it definitely does. It doesn't do much for me in terms of like excitement, but it's definitely not something I dislike. Honey is cute. Yeah, but I use honey like endearingly for everybody. Because my mom, growing up, my uh -huh. mom would always call me babe and honey. So, like, uh -huh. I started calling people that when I got older, too. That's, that's you'll cute. Hear me that's sometimes sweet. you'll hear me slipping and I'll, I'll call somebody honey when they're doing something, like, ridiculous. <laughs> like, it's, it's it, cute. It, it happens a lot. It's like, sweetheart, honey, stuff like that. Stuff like that I say a lot. I don't say babe. Because when I was a kid, my mom used to call me that a lot. And I accidentally called people babe in school. <laughs> And I got fucking flamed for it. So I, I, that one I never use, even accidentally. It's always honey or sweetheart. Well, you don't call, you don't go up to your bros and call them babe. <laughs> hey babe, and then I like. I've, nice. More cock, people bro, should. Slaps balls. <laughs> hey babe, how you doing today? <laughs> nice cock, babe. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> You know what? That's I'll crazy. Call, I'll, call, I'll call more of the homies, babe. I'll call it more specifically more <laughs> of the, like the male homies, babe. Uh, Otherwise, it'll I'm be a weird. person. I'm a person who really likes pet names, so I like it when my friends. I think call I, actually, me pet I names. called you honey earlier, but like when you were in the little baby form, uh, when you were like not wanting to eat food, I was like, get your fucking eat this goddamn food. <laughs> it's like it's I like when you're trying it. to tell somebody to eat food, but like in a nice way. So you don't yeah. scare them off like, eat the fucking food. I do not mind it personally. I like it. It's cute. It's cute. I, it's mm. And like, it's never... 
It's uh, it, sweetie. I use a lot too. Sweetie, I use a lot, but most of the time <laughs> when I use the word sweetie, it somehow turns out derogatory. It always sounds derogatory when I say it. I use hun, sweetie, honey, and what was what was the other one? There was another one that you guys mentioned earlier. Sweet, yeah, sweetheart. Sweetie, hon, honey, stuff like that. I mean, they're, they're all the same thing. I no, I would never say darling to somebody. I think that one's way more intimate. Yeah, darling is way too intimate to say to a friend. Pookie. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little spicy. Pookie, that's cute. Hey, Pookie. It's like it's hey, like Pookie. It's, uh, <laughs> Cutie patootie pookie bear. Those ones are nice. <laughs> it's, it's just funny as fuck. <laughs> bub? What the? Hey, Bub. What hey, are you doing, Bub? bub? <laughs> I also, I, I, okay. I wanted to ask you one of the most embarrassing questions anyone could ever get asked. Oh. I'm so sorry in advance. Uh -huh. What MMOs were you playing? What were the MMOs that you were going on? This the the I'm answer so may shock you. No, the oh, answer really? may shock you. Really? The only MMO I've played for like an extended period of time is Final Fantasy 14. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought there would be more. No, nope. I was like never. I was never an MMO gamer until I started playing 14. It's the only wow. MMO I've like actually kept up with. Like, yeah. I thought you would have been like a Mabinogi or a Maple Story fan too. I, or like, I was uh, 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 y uh, Yggdrasil, or the other one. Mm -hmm. Damn. Fuck, that I never, so, me. Sorry, sorry to disappoint. I'm I never, really I, know, I was never into I'm it. fucking surprised, holy shit. Were you a big MMO person? I played a fuck ton of MMOs. Uh-huh. I played RuneScape, Terra, Mabinogi, uh, Blade and Soul. I played Ru uh, I said RuneScape. Uh, MapleStory <laughs> 2, specifically. I uh -huh. tried out so many MMOs. And Black Desert Online. I would always mm -hmm. ever play the MMOs uh, that I thought had good character creators. If they didn't have a good character creator, I would never play them. Ah, uh, that makes so much sense. That's why Especially like, like uh, from Final an artist point. That's that's fair. From an from an artist point of view, character creators are really important. I hope they if you, if they ever update the character creator in Final Fantasy, I'll play it again. But for right now, it's same face syndrome very badly. Uh, it is getting a graphical update very soon. Really? Okay, I'll mm -hmm. play it then. I will be super into it then. If they add like a graphical update that actually overhauls the character creator, I'm so down. Because I, I don't actually know. Might, you don't know. Don't... I, it might just be like yeah. making it prettier instead of fixing the character creator. I don't know if they said specifically just how much they're changing the character creator, but the characters do look more different from one another with oh, the graphical have they update. Shown stuff. Yeah, a little bit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of interested to see if they like make it real nice because again can have a little peek I've been paying for that subscription for a year and I yeah. haven't I only played it for a month but I was paying the Final Fantasy subscription for like a whole year just in case somebody yeah. invited me to it <laughs> oh wait I want to play with you I know I wanted to play with you that's I think I, I got it because you I knew you were playing it and then another friend of oh. mine invited me to play it but they didn't invite me oh I swear, people I are like that. Everyone forgets. I do the same oh, thing yeah, sometimes. Oh yeah, that's true. It happens. I never hold anyone to it because I know I will yeah. do the same thing occasionally to other people. It does happen. Mm -hmm. well, you I, end up in the cycle of like, whoa, yeah, we should totally do this, totally yeah. play this, and then a week later, it's like everyone's forgotten about that game. <laughs> going to a convention, being like, hey guys, do you want to like hang out when we get back? Like, let's play a game. Let's play that. This, this new game content warning. It'll I be really fun. Out of the cage and escaped, run and then you forget. Everyone forgets. Or you yeah. DM them and they like, they're still flying. So then they see the message and they're like, oh, I'll <laughs> respond when I, when I land off my plane. And then they don't yeah. respond to the message because they fucking fell asleep and forgot about it. And then you like, you're like, oh, well, I don't want to double ping them. They probably saw it or they probably forgot about it. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll, I'll ping them again later when I get close to the time. And then you don't ping them either. So you guys just forget about it the entire time. <laughs> That's a lot of the, that's a lot. <laughs> I remember specifically, I was talking to people at a party um, at WeebCon, right? Other VTubers. And every time I'd be like, I really want to hang out. They would always be like, I need you to ping me 14 times. <laughs> I need you to, for example, I, I, I have a friend named Yuzu and she was like, I need you to ping me 
40 times if you want to <laughs> hang out. I'm not joking. <laughs> this is not an exaggeration. If you want to hang out, ping me 40 fucking times or else I will not see it. <laughs> Which is absolutely insane. Absolutely it's, I insane. Mean, it's it's the te it, the tempo of like I mean in the V2 in the VTuber uh I guess sphere specifically just the tempo of like collabs and games and stuff just flying by yeah lethal company then there was yeah then there's uh um content warning now and before lethal company was another game oh hell divers too and then yeah. there's i mean it's been it it goes pretty much at breakneck speeds a lot of the time mm -hmm. and it just like is constant constant collab games because people want a reason to hang out and these are ways for people yeah. to hang out for sure which another thing I don't I, I how many VTubers do you know Nettina because I I don't actually know how many people you talk to because I see you streaming and then occasionally I see Anya and like oh my god like I assume you at least know the other Omochi children right yeah yeah I have a lot I mean I <laughs> it's really how do I explain it? Because well, for you, you don't really need to do any collabs or anything or feel a need to because you kind of just like you, you said it yourself. You stream because you want to talk to people at the games that you like. Yeah. Nice little community. Yeah. So honestly, I feel like it'd be kind of like a, like it'd be kind of it's kind of I feel like it would be like Uncanny Valley if I saw you collabing with somebody in a video game. <laughs> If I saw you playing something like Lethal Company or Content Warning, I feel like I'd be like, this is, this feels weird. What is happening? What is she doing? This is strange. <laughs> it's definitely, I mean, a large reason as to why I don't do a lot of collabs is just because I'm nervous. No, no. I hope, I, I hope you're feeling comfortable now because I know you were nervous at the start. I am. But it's also, I'm, I'm way better with like one-on-one -on -one stuff like this. Oh, I'm okay. way more comfortable with like one-on-one -on -one stuff. As soon as it's a group, group setting, I, d I go non-verbal so fast. <laughs> That's actually really funny because sometimes I'm the opposite. Uh -huh. Like I'll be in a group and I'm like, okay, this is easier because I don't have to be the only one talking. Uh, oh, you know what I mean? Because yeah. like I can, I can listen to other people. I can relax a little bit more because I can just let them do the talking. Uh. But it also comes from how we stream, I guess, because I always fill the space when I'm streaming. I don't leave a lot mm -hmm. of empty space uh, during the stream. Yeah, but during a collab, I'm allowed to because I can have other people talk for me, so I can actually have those rest moments where I breathe and catch my breath. Mm -hmm. That's f that's so that's so funny. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I kind of want to. I kind of want to see how you'd be. I don't know. I don't want to push anything. I just think it's it's really like interesting to see that with people and see like how they <laughs> act in different scenarios. It sounds like such a scientist thing to say. What the fuck? <laughs> You're gonna put the glasses back on. We're gonna do a social yeah. experiment. I truly Oops. am the worm in the in the terrarium. <laughs> That's such a it's such a good representation though. <laughs> worm, the worm GF meme that goes around. Would you love me if I'm still a worm? <laughs> yeah, we. Would give you, you a Would you gummy love worm. me if I'm if I'm still a socially anxious gummy worm? Yeah, yeah. I'd bring you around to parties. I'd give you like a little, I'd make Please. one of those like Oreo cakes that look like a dirt cup. And then I put you at the top of it, <laughs> bring you around. Hi, this is my friend, Nettie, Nan. Nettie, say hi. And you just like wiggle, you <laughs> wiggle in the thing. <laughs> hi Hello. <laughs> so kind of cute. I would feel I would feel comfortable if I had you uh, to wingman for me. I I wouldn't mind. I I try to do that a lot of the time because I know I I, I know a lot of people get anxious. That's why I do the like mm -hmm. little ten minutes before we start a stream. Uh, oh yeah. Like, you like before stream started. One, it's to set up stuff, but two, it's also to get people a little bit more comfortable mm -hmm. uh, before the collab starts because I don't want to like go in right away and have you not know what's going on. It makes sense. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the time I lose a lot of the content because I immediately start telling jokes to make people feel more comfortable. <laughs> and then I'm like, fuck, I can't say this on stream now because I already did it. <laughs> That's nice, though. You're considerate. Well, yeah. I don't know. I don't want to start the stream. And then you're like, you're like, it's just like freaking out, panicking. <laughs> it's good. It's good.
He's a good. But uh, I I don't want to keep you for too long because I know it's getting late for you. Uh, and we're at the three hour mark anyways, which is normally when people hop off. Do you uh. feel okay? <laughs> Do I feel, feel you okay? Feel, you feel it okay? I know. I, I feel all right. It's, it's well. Normally, people have been like leaving at three hours lately, so I always assume three hours is like the max most guests are normally on for. Oh, I mean, I kept you on it's, for longer. <laughs> it's 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 um. I mean, it is nighttime, but my sleep schedule is um. Oh not, no! <laughs> it's not the best, oh, but I mean. No! I don't want to listen. I'm not going to keep you for too long either. No, no. I'm always down to keep people on for as long as I can. <laughs> but I, <laughs> fucking, when do you go to bed? Um, I'll, I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. <laughs> I'll say my. I can well, say mine first. Okay. Recently, because I've been working on um, art a lot, specifically during the nighttime, I've been I've been Yay! going to bed at like 4 a.m. <laughs> Oh, you're fine. That's still in the healthy arrows. I go, I go, I went to bed at 7 a.m. last night. Uh, that's been, painful. I have been going to bed for at 7 a.m. for. I'm genuinely trying to fix it. Last night I said I'm gonna go to bed early, uh -huh. and then you know what I did? I fucking was like, all right, never mind. I'm gonna read manhwa for three hours while working out because I feel like I really want to work out. <laughs> I got everything I needed to do done that night way earlier at like 1 a.m. and I was like okay time to go to bed early and be healthier and sleep earlier and instead I got on my exercise bike and I read Manwa for three hours and I was like working out and I went to bed really late because of that goodness goodness gracious goodness gracious it, it, yeah if I don't work out tonight I'll actually go to bed early that's the important thing <laughs> You had to get your your doll gains in. Well, yeah, because I, I every time I go to a convention, I gain weight. So I'm like, oh god, oh. oh god, I have to lose it again. Is it just because you're like getting food with people? Yeah, you can't control what the calories that you're intaking when you're on a vacation because oh, yeah, you're not in your home. True. So and true. plus, literally everything you're going to be eating is food outside, and all the food outside mm -hmm. in the world is going to be high calories. Yeah. Like, a fucking hotel room service isn't going to have a health conscious option. <laughs> True. I'm not going to Texas barbecue that's going to be health conscious. It's not going to be like that. <laughs> it's going to be like 4,000 calories and a slap on the ass saying good job. <laughs> oh, boy. But all right. I'm thinking about the food now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Listen, it's not that bad though. Like, I think 4 a.m. is still a reasonable time as long as you don't get it. Uh, don't let it get worse than that. And plus, all the creative flow comes at like 2 a.m. That's when all the that's, best art comes in. That's so true. The, my motivation to do art goes through the fucking roof, starting at like 1 a.m. <laughs> that's I, when it starts. Dude, I wish I, <laughs> I, I wish I was still drawing like I used to. I started uh -huh. drawing again before I went to the con a few weeks ago. <laughs> And I was trying to draw um, another VTuber. I was trying to draw uh, Victoria Bright Shield. And mm -hmm. it took me so many revisions to get back to a place where I was like, okay, this kind of looks good. This kind of looks like oh, how yeah. I used to draw. Mm -hmm. God, it's so bad to like be drawing all the time and then have a giant gap between it, like where you stop yep. drawing and then you come back to it and you're like, I forgot how to do everything. I forgot how to do every single thing. I know. I I'm drawing. I'm drawing this stick people again. That's how far back I gone. No, no. Hey, listen. <laughs> it gets cute. It, I I, <laughs> I learned how to draw chibis recently, and it made me really happy huh? too. Chibis are fun to draw. Just little beans, little beans yeah. around head. They're cute. I like that shit. All right, but I, again, I don't want to keep you up all night because <laughs> I know you got to get your drawing in. What time is it for you right now? Uh, well, it is almost three a.m. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let you go. I don't want to, you're one hour away from bedtime. I'm we're good. That's true. We're good. I, thank you for staying on for so long. I was actually I, had fun. I was gonna keep you for longer too. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm so glad I asked you. Holy shit. Okay. No, thank you for coming on. I'm so glad we got to finally talk. Yeah. I've known you for three years and we finally get into a voice call together. <laughs> we finally actually hang out. And it was a very good time. I had really, I, I had super fun. It was, it was super mega, mega fun. ultra fun. Mega ultra super deluxe fun. I had super deluxe mega ultra fun. 
I had mega, ultra, super, turbo, uh, uh, supreme, ultimate fun. I had supremer, ultimate, or fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was lovely having you on, and I'm actually really glad I got to ask you about like, I don't know, yourself, quote unquote. It was cool to talk about. I am um, I'm sorry if I if I talked too much about any topic. No, no, I like it when people are passionate <laughs> about stuff. Honestly, I I look back at some of my old versions of this show, and I mm. talked too much. So I'm happy that my guest is talking Ooh. more. <laughs> that always makes me happy to have plus literally you're the guest you're here because i want to show people like you and your <laughs> stuff so obviously i want you to talk what the fuck yay thank you thank you for having me on and thank you chat for being so welcoming and nice yeah good job chat round of applause thanks <laughs> on the back yay 10 seconds of silence Yippee! Yay! <laughs> I'm actually going to do that all the time to them now. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm going to randomly do 10 seconds of silence to them at any point during a stream just to freak them out. <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm, I'm really happy that you felt comfortable and you got Yay. more and more into it. I, I, dude, I'm <laughs> learning about your, the, the, your Otome history. And like <laughs> the, having the illusion of the cool collected wolf crumble <laughs> into like a half and half of cool collected and girl failure is it, I, <laughs> there's some gap moe, you know, there's some gap moe for you right there. <laughs> and then the big question of who is the Yoshi? That's that's for me to find out and for you guys to <laughs> curiously question for the rest of your lives, Chet. <laughs> who is Oshi? Why is, is it that? Oshi? Why is it that interesting of a I question? Know, you made it sound like it was some like deranged uh, like obsession that you had. I mean, I'm not saying it isn't, but oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for coming on, Nettynet. It was really lovely Yay. chat. Go check out Nettynet. Don't overwhelm her. Oh. This is this is. But go check her out. Go watch her streams. <laughs> Honestly, one of my biggest comfort streamers. I've said this multiple times. Aww. I love going in and watching her play like the most obscure shit in the world. It's really fun. <laughs> and her chat's really lovely. Everyone there is really sweet too. It's all it's all chill vibes. Yeah, it's uh, it, genuinely one of my favorite streamers. <laughs> and, and underrated. I'm so glad Domo interviewed you way back when. I'm so happy I found <laughs> you from that dude. In the, in the stone age in of the, VTubing. Back in the stone age of VTubing. <laughs> did interview still <laughs> i'm so glad i found you from that but thank you for coming on big love thank you for having me big love yippee, thank yippee, you. Yippee. Yay. okay get out of here <gasps> should i call you an uber um i guess Would i don't want like to walk oh okay oh should yeah. i nobody's ever actually taken me up on this uh <laughs> <laughs> normally they're like no i'll walk because they're defiant hold on <laughs> Oh, Wait, on. no, no, I, mean, I got you something. Hold on. Right. I have something around here somewhere. Alright. Sounds so disappointed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I figured you'd have it ready, you know? Well, I didn't Gosh. know. I, I didn't know when we were going to end here. <laughs> right, get, get in the car. We're going we're gonna to drive you off. It's going to back out of the front seat of my house. Let's go. Bye, Natty Nat. Thank you for coming. Do you have anything to say Bye. to everyone before you go? Oh. Um, uh, I'm very happy that I got the opportunity to hang out today. Oh. I appreciate, I appreciate you. I love her. I love her so much. Thank you. Thank you all for letting me hang out. Thank you all for letting me have some of your time. Spending time with me and with you, with you and with you, whoa, whoa, whoa. everyone together. It was a lot of fun. Thank Take you. Take care. No, 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 we, 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 we. Everyone stay safe. Don't fall for any of the uh, culinary traps that Joel is trying to set what, up for what you. What do you mean? I'm trying to make you eat healthy. Don't fall All for right? catfishes. Everyone on Ch <laughs> is not a seven foot tall man. They could be women. Make sure to keep yourself protected. Uh, Joel is lying. And, <laughs> and, 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 and I'm leaving. I'm, I'm getting into the car. Bye, Nettie. Bye. Bye. Love you. Thank you for being here. Love you too. Bye bye. There she goes. Go go to the left. Go to the left so it looks like you're joining. You're going with the car. 
No, move, move to, she left the call. Okay, there she goes. <laughs> I had such a good time, dude. I love Nettie, ne 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 Nelly, Nelly. Go check out Nettie Net, please, chat. Genuinely, and I've said this before, one of my favorite streamers and one of my comfort streamers personally, so I'm really happy that she agreed to come on. I'm so happy that our first time hanging out like ever went so well. I'm ha I hope she was comfortable. I hope I, I hope I was able to make her comfortable enough to hang out too. She was very sweet. She did take a copy of Nintendogs with her. Uh, go check her out. Go give her lots of love. Go watch all of her little streams. She's super comfy. Um, she plays a lot of random indie games and genuinely really, really fucking fun. Um, don't overwhelm her. If you do go to her stream, just say hi and enjoy it and just be chill, you know? But yeah, thank you, Natty Knight, for coming on. I really appreciate you. And again, one of my favorite streamers. I hope you have a good rest of the night. Thank you, YouTube, for watching this VOD. And chat, say bye, YouTube. Bye, everyone. If you're watching this live, you'll see that I'm about to go play random other game. I'm probably going to play Red Alert for the rest of the night, or I'm going to play something else. I don't fucking know. I'm waving to the camera, but you can't see me because I don't have hand tracking on because this isn't the 3D model. But thank you for watching. Goodbye, YouTube. Big love. We're going to go hang out. I might play Red Alert 3, Command and Conquer. I don't fucking know. I'm going to play some random bullshit. Bye-bye. Why am I still waving? Again, I don't have hand tracking. Holy shit. Bye-bye, YouTube!